no way. I might have to do that. <laughs> you boys, hey, you guys want to put 50 on no Liverpool way. in the league? <laughs> oh, God, no. Fucking no. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good night. You're back with Let Him Shoot. It's the best. Shit, I forgot we're doing this. Best lineup, best cast, best looking cast, best lineup, and best cast. To my very right, uh, it's boy MJ, born Africa gang. Um, strange weekend. Big loss. Big result. Big loss as well. But we'll get into it. We'll get into it. To my left. Blame Samuel. We'll get into it. We'll get into it. To his left. BBB in 4K. It's the cripple over here, man. <laughs> my left. The OG, Mr. Cripple, um, <laughs> Cambridge Pep Guardiola, Cambridge Best Young Chef. Bro, I can't laugh. Um, we'll bro. get into it. We'll get Doctor into said it. I'm not allowed to laugh. Sorry, man. Make sure we start with that. Um, shout out everyone who commented last week. Comments were back up. They heard everyone Stop saying. Making me laugh. They heard everyone <laughs> saying that you know there weren't enough comments or whatever. Comments went straight back up, and there was there was a Excellent. lot. What's okay. there? They were very critical of Samuel and I. Oh. Really? They didn't like our, our take? No, they didn't like. They were more with Bud and Deny. Come on. For the years. most part. It kind of, I, I see it. Uh, Spaceman Simmons said, Jeremy and Samuel were unbearable this episode. Fucking hell, unbearable. <laughs> Fair enough. Nan- yeah. And you continue to watch. Yeah. <laughs> Nancy Six said, <laughs> watch this week. They were shouting for so long and I thought I could listen while working. I couldn't. <laughs> what do you think we deal with every day though? This yeah. is the same. Yeah. This is everyday yeah. life. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Shout out uh, Scorera said Ben Halloran Watching this Copping strays <laughs> Yeah fire. That's what I was thinking yeah. We just name dropping guys bro. Yeah we were Oh shit uh, Dinkor Slanovic said This is the vaguest Hypothetical argument ever <laughs> Yeah true Yeah it was va- you No know, it was vague But it was so specific So specific so I don't know so if that was vague I think You just didn't want to Drop names That's why yeah, that's true. Um, I dropped him. Fire, there's a lot of comments <laughs> that were getting at me, but and, and deny in the. Yeah, because you guys thing. are freaking losers. The agenda against Liverpool is wild. What did you guys say though? Every week it's we, it's. We're we just doing every a bit of joking week. around about yeah, like they, Bosley like playing bad. Sabozla like Endo. You guys, every yeah. week you come on here and the you say that are commenting didn't obviously we didn't say they do watch the game. We were talking about specific. Yeah, players. we didn't say Liverpool. Were I know, but the thing is, you yeah, guys will get I mean. you, you guys will get to a Liverpool game. And you'll be like, this guy was shit, this guy was shit, it's this guy was shit. When they weren't shit or yeah. they weren't anything. And no, then they were. No, they were Listen, when shit. Arsenal rarely drop points, you guys are always in a joking mood and you want to drop points. Yeah. No, no, but I'm saying. <laughs> you guys do it every single week I'm about Liverpool. when you do, you guys are always going, ah. Now, there was exactly. one comment and it was like. Now, this Liverpool was like a couple get weeks so ago. butthurt when you talk about exactly. their players. Well, nah. That's crazy. Comes around. Because it's not just Liverpool. We okay. cop it every week. We, we literally we, get we the shit We're the ones that get it every week. No, so but you guys deserve it though. So you don't deserve me just saying something that happened. No. Yeah. So like, today I'm going to be only positive about Liverpool. <laughs> notice the Liverpool, Charlie Lloyd said, notice the Liverpool fans off, the Liverpool fan, Samuel, actually offers unbiased input on other clubs. Facts. Find oh, it I really weird agree. going in on Liverpool players who put in a seven or eight out of 10. I reckon this guy, this Facts. is probably his first yeah. episode he ever watched. Yeah, very unbiased. And, and then he gave Samuel. Everyone's, Everyone's very biased. unbiased. Yeah. Everyone's biased. If you know Samuel, yeah. I'm biased about Liverpool players, but if I'm not biased Samuel, about you know other Samuel. teams players. You Apart from the, a Liverpool yeah, fan, right. you lot are blinded by the hatred. Think Arsenal fans Thank need you. to stay in their lane. Small Facts. club, you said. Damn, I came on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best comment. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shout you out Fimi. Oh my god. Fimi. He said, Welcome to the team, new guy. <laughs> that hands down. I don't even know if he meant it like oh, that. You no. know what's so funny? Because I was man. replying to comments on the YouTube. Yeah, he was. I know those those new guy comments hurt him. That hurt him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They said, this, I'm just starting the episode. He never this, replies. Yeah, no, no, this new guy's got to be related to Bud. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> and then yeah. um, I reckon he's got the message written, ready um, to send, but he doesn't want to send it. Yeah, yeah, bro, he's replied to that. To the guy. Yeah, saying, if you think. I'm related to Bud. Like you got to check your mirrors yeah. or something. Yeah. Like that's that. what he got offended about. Yeah, and you guys. Yeah, no. It's the <laughs> yeah, yeah, one. there was Didn't another I? one. OG said, "Yeah, I'm not. I've not been in the intros yet, but this new guy has to be related to Bud." Yeah, <laughs> and he replied to it. Oh man. Yeah, yeah. yeah he I'm did big reply. Broke. He said, "You told me you need to go to doctors." Yeah, need to go to doctors. <laughs> yeah. Um, shout out everyone who commented. More comments every week. Nice. We'll keep this. I love the comments. We'll keep man. this that's page so alive. Anytime I'm like not happy. I just go and check the comments. They make yeah. me happy. As soon as the comments stop, the page will die. So <laughs> And the page will <laughs> forever stop. Yeah. Uh, let's but get into no, the no, episode. Oh, yeah, shit. Uh, before we kick this off, make sure you like, share, subscribe, comment, 
Need Yo, to get them subs up. This month? N- yeah. yeah. People need, need to get it. them followers up. Need to get the subs up. I think everything. there's MJ's got a pending. Yeah, I need uh, to film the goal recreation. Oh, oh MJ's yeah. got two pending. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh yeah, he's got God. two pending, yeah. Three. I have to get him in oh, now three. Oh, now three, yeah. Oh. This will be a third, oh, yeah. this one, yeah. Oh, my How God. How many has he got? Surely he can't have three pending and, and then we made this guy do his. Yeah. No, but it's not up to me. Yeah. The other two. Yeah, that's yeah me. That's I need to bring recreation. him. No, but you need to do the outfit one. Yeah, I need to buy yeah, it. Yeah, but I, I don't have this stuff. Yeah, yeah, so that's what I mean. I need and who else got one this month? I got Mitch. Any one for I like last month. Yeah, yeah Riley has the dropped off in tucked in Southside. I gotta, I gotta talk to production about it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And Mitch has a this one. Pending. Mitch has this one, one now. Yeah. Uh so maybe you guys turn the board around, yeah, explain well. it quickly. Riley, you can explain today. Let me explain it. You want to explain a masterclass of a month that we had? Um. So pretty much what we've got at the bottom. Um, so at the bottom, we've actually just got Mitch again. This is his, what, third time being down there, uh, as well as his partner in crime, MJ, with his... <laughs> I don't know, it's a lot. I think this is Mitch's second time. I think this is his second, yeah. No, because uh, he paid. Yeah, he's paid twice. No, once. No, he's only paid he's once. Paid twi- Are you sure? Yeah. yeah. He was meant to do the one you're going to do now. Yeah. yeah That's it. No, nah, I swear he had another one. No, nah, count it. Oh. Count the thing. No, nah, I just wrote it. Yeah, just wrote it. Jeremy narrowly escaping... Escaping a bloody punishment for once. Somehow um, three points. But look, then we got the board as rest Chelsea. as usual. Bud, Denier, right. Tide, Samuel one point ahead. Tom with a valiant effort, but Pep Guardiola over here. Bringing it back. We've come from the bottom to the top. Can't wait to get my money this month. <sighs> well, that's what happens when you have unlimited first picks. We got there, man. Just yeah. the amount of shit I've it's gone through. I'm happy Riley's for once. We should call this guy Man City. T- <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah. Riley's going to get financial fair play. <laughs> yeah. Breaches. Yeah. I Can't hope wait. so. Next year we need to we need to change that rule. Someone need yeah, to um we need something to fix yeah. it because it's it's broken. Yeah. Someone need to Facetime Mitch or so he knows what oh, he's doing. He's definitely asleep because he said he was coming. Or he's, yeah. he's I reckon he's asleep. I reckon he's breaking his fast. Because I don't think he's even read the chat. He could be no, but let's do MJ's first. Uh, Mike, what are you hoping for here? I hope it's not um, one of the uh, this yeah. guy's. I, I want know. a good one. MJ hasn't really got it. Funny he hasn't got any hard ones, really. No. I have kind of. Nah, the posting re- ones are hard. For <laughs> goal recreation for, for Riley. Goal recreation. True, you easy. paid for one of his. Yeah, yeah, I did. But that's it. Yeah, fair. I reckon the hardest one would be something that just takes a lot of time. Yeah, not not as hard. It's just like the Tuggeronong one. Yeah. yeah, that's just gonna take time. Whereas it's not hard. But it's just me, it's isn't it? It's just me with a GoPro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. GoPro and a mic. That's kind yeah. of. Terribly embarrassing. Change your name on his phone. Yeah, cool. I'll change it to do not, number two. Do not pick up. Like yeah. Yeah. That, pick up. The Tuggernaut yeah. one is so easy for me. Yeah. For you. Because like, I know people that work in Tuggernaut. Oh, okay. So I'll just be like, yo, G. Because <laughs> we, we got to talk about how that actually works. Well, you got no phone. You got nothing. Yeah, yeah. But, no phone, but no like, no is it? No money. And we're like, dropping you in a random suburb in Tuggernaut. Yeah, but it's an actual suburb. It's not be. like in the bush somewhere. No. Could be Mount Stromlo. Yeah, okay. As long as it's like, I don't know. I made that up. It's like near, it's like in the city. Stromolo is like to Campbell. the right. It's like <laughs> to the right. <laughs> the right, like, of uh, right. I mean, it's like Is that yeah, what you mean by yeah, the right? Like, like Belco side. Yeah, like yeah. um, past the Arboretum and yeah, shit, yeah. that side of the town. Yeah. Uh, no, nah, that's fine. If you yeah. go, if you drop me like in a oh, suburb, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then yeah then suburb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, let's spin the wheel for MJ. For me personally, personally, I'm hoping he gets stand up comedy or golf. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll nah, stand-up. I want stand up comedy or the perform. Perform live. Oh, oh the yeah. Busking. busking. Yeah, the yeah. busking. I want the only, shake. What, MJ, minutes. what would you prefer here? I want the smoothie what are you of hoping death. For? Oh, smoothie of death. Oh, and I'm going to put just it. only milk. MJ. Oh, no, I'll pay. Just strawberry milk. I'll pay. MJ's paid. Yeah. Just I'll a milk. Sick for a week. Just, just, a, just, just a, milk. a glass of milk. This guy wants me to be sick for a week. How's that for him? Just sick. A bowl of ice cream. He's going to have so many nightmares. Imagine you just MJ a two litre chocolate oak. Strawberry milk? Wraps. And we're going to do it at one of the watch a spin. <laughs> I'll do I'll do busking. I'll just do freestyling. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I can't get it again. Goal recreations. It was almost lemonade stand. <laughs> oh yeah, like oh, that, that would have been good. Tom had to do that, remember? Got it again. <laughs> oh my god, MJ, you got them all, brother. <laughs> <laughs> He's already got these. Yeah, MJ's playing Pokemon. Oh, you still have one skip as well. <laughs> oh my god, goal recreation. No, nah, it, it's not one skip. Is it? Yeah, He's got one skip. But don't you have to pay if it's a... No. No, you can use one you skip. Just have to, you, you have to do it. You have to decide. Golf. 
Golf. Yes. Yes. What's this? You're going to have to play a golf Eight holes of golf. Bro, I'm doing this. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I can't do it straight away. It has to be like. We can do it when there's a golf tournament. Yeah, well, look. We've got to find out when they are. Saturday, I can yeah. do it. Sunday. No, no, no. We, like, it's an actual golf tournament. you got to enter. Yeah, but I'm saying it has to be on a Sunday. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no, we'll do it so it yeah. suits your schedule. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, your calendar. Uh, calendar. Uh, Mitch. Yeah, yeah, that's, I'm, this one's for Mitch. Yeah, that'd be sick. I wouldn't mind that to be yeah, fair. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm down for You can't it. pay anymore, by the way. Oh. You can't pay, yeah. Selfie. He He's gonna pay. That. He'll pay. Good. Fuck yeah. it. No, he can't. But does the money double? Can. You can pay yeah. every time. No, you guys didn't want you that rule. You guys didn't want that rule. <laughs> fucking. At least nah, he paid, right? Selfie. Yeah. Nah, he will do it. I'll take no him. way. He oh, Riley, come. you get to pick his outfit. Yeah. And Tom, oh, for the Tom, Tom gets to pick his caption. Tom still has, he's got pending cases. Tom gets to pick his caption. Tom's got freaking lemonade stand. If he can dedicate to you. Yeah, he needs to pay for lemonade. I'll pick stand. the cap. No, I think he paid. Did he? No, yeah. I don't think he did. Well, he I don't think he did. Someone. Yeah, I think he sent it to deny. But we can oh, double check. Yeah, I think yeah. he did. Uh, deny yeah. still owes me from week one. Yeah. <laughs> Far out, bro. Yeah, he didn't even get it off. No, deny, said if, it was, deny said he was going to do it, but he just. If Tom did. hasn't sent it to deny, he just sent it directly to you. And then there we That's go. Fair. Makes sense. All right. All right. <laughs> Big talking points, Samuel. Liverpool drop points. They're the first team to drop points in the run in. Because Arsenal played City. Yeah. So from that count. game onwards, yeah. it's the next. This is the running because now we don't play each other again. Yeah. And the worst part is, it's completely out of our hands. So if Arsenal want to win the league, they win the league. From here on out, it's if you guys want to win the league, you win the league. It's for us. We can't do anything more mm-hmm. other than do what we can do we can. because we can't take points off you. Yeah, we can get your GD up. It's too far. It's too far gone. We're nine behind, and to make that up, when you guys are going to consistently continue to, to to London. score. Yeah, 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 bro. We've got to do something because <laughs> I'd do that by now. Uh, Although, how do you per- feel about the my, game? My perspective has changed. Mm. The game we were amazing up until Bruno scored. That's our, for me, our best performance in a long, long time. I'd be worried then if that's the best. Shut up! That's You're literally worried. watching the game going, "This is domination." <laughs> yeah, I, I would say your we, best ever game. No, I didn't say our ever. best ever game. I just said our best game in a long time, best yeah, performance I'd be up until that goal because right. we. C- we United didn't have United didn't have one chance in, up until Bruno scored. They didn't have a chance. I'm not even counting that as a chance. They didn't have one single chance. All it takes is for one mistake, and and the whole thing kind of crashes. We missed countless countless opportunities. So I could add two at least. Diaz could have had three. Salah could have had three. Nunes could have had two. We had so many chances, and not even just half chances. There were clear chances. Anana was great. Um, I feel like he could have done better on Diaz's goal, but he was great other than that. Liverpool's XG, 3.67. And usually for United, games... United, 0.7. Yeah. Snatch and grab, baby. See, that's the difference. That's snatch one yeah. team's clinical, one team isn't. Yeah. <laughs> Just, sometimes, you know, attack, like hopes and dreams as tactics, it gets you yeah, playing. Fuck it, fuck it. <laughs> it was, playing or vibes. They were big chances you missed. And the United fans were so upset as well at halftime. They were booing. They were, they were so upset because Destroyed. they could see how dominant we were, and because obviously the United fans don't want to see Liverpool win the title because well, we tie them with premierships if we win the league this really? year. Yeah, so it's tied. So they don't obviously they don't want to see that happen. So for them, this is terrible. And then for us to throw the game away like that, it's for me, it's purely down to the forwards. I don't think anyone else. Of course, we the goals we did concede. Yeah, it's a mistake by Quanza, but I feel as though mistakes happen and shit like that happens. Mm. The second goal, unbelievable finish. I don't think there's too much we could do from that. But other than that, they didn't have anything. You're playing against one of the top six sides in in England and it's a big historical derby. And for us to go there and dominate to the extent we dominated, it's just shit that it doesn't come with three points when realistically, if that's anybody else, City or Arsenal, they're taking three points. Okay, yeah. Which gets me to the... First point I want to make, MJ, would you, or Samuel, would you rather at this point in the season, seven games to go, what gives you more optimism for the rest of the run-in? A poor, poor, poor performance, like you get completely outplayed by United, but you come away with a 1-0, or the performance you had... So like Brighton last week? Not Brighton, no, Sheffield. <laughs> yeah, Brighton Sheffield. and Sheffield, I guess. Yeah. Well, yeah. We were um, poor in both games and we... But you know what I'm saying? And we won oh, this no, no, performance you. where you completely dominate the game for the most part, more chances, create huge chances, we, we, but you come away with a draw. We needed the three points though. So as much as... 
the performance was good. The biggest thing that we needed was the three points because we needed to stay, keep that whatever gap it was between us and Arsenal. Because if we were to drop points again, we would be all right. But now it's like all on you guys. It's it's not on us anymore. We just have to keep going. But like, I'll, yeah, what were you going to say? Who's got the tougher run? Arsenal. Liverpool. Arsenal, definitely. I think definitely. Arsenal have the tougher run, but our next, after this game, we've got three away games in a row and, and I feel as though you guys away from home. Yeah, I feel as though away from home now is tough. We got Tottenham at home, but the next three games is like um, I know we have Fulham, 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 West Ham, and and Everton. Is Everton? Yeah, I think we got Everton away. We've got like some can be like yeah, it's a derby again. So it's like it's tough games. Those are games that we could draw. Well, pretty much their next five games is Fulham away, Everton away, West Ham away, Tottenham at home, Villa away. We got Palace though this week, right? Palace this week. Palace yeah. is dangerous. Yeah. This is what wins you. Uh, this is what loses you guys the league. Uh, how are you going to feel? Very oh, disappointed. Very disappointed. But I feel as though it'll be, it'll be just. I don't think if we go on now to lose the league, I don't think I can sit here and be like, "Fuck, we should have won the league," because I feel as though if we go on to lose from here, which I've still, my perspective changed on. Because last week I was looking at it feeling so confident to now within the space of one match week, everything can change when the points are this close. Yeah. So for me, it's there's seven games to go. So seven times that feeling can happen again. So my perspective on that has changed. So Opta ranking still has Liverpool ahead of Arsenal. In I don't know. I think that's some league. weird shit. And City first. It's weird because Liverpool you've been the most Arsenal. informed team history, in, in probably history. all of Europe this year. Yeah. Probably fixtures as well. Yeah. Remaining. Finishes. I don't know. I you just got a fair few more games. Yeah, you got some tough games. Yeah, but the way you've been playing, Rest doesn't Spurs away United away. But the way you've been playing, United away doesn't even seem Chelsea like a, at home. United yeah, away yeah. doesn't even seem like a tough game to me for you guys. Like Klopp said, yeah, he did say. He said if if United play like this against Arsenal, they'll win. Clearly, he's he one hundred percent. Yeah, yes. Arsenal will win clearly one hundred percent because United set up. They they're not good. They're really just not nah. good at Shout all. Shout out to Kambuala though. I thought yeah. he was like- It was good decent. defensively, Clamps, but we still had a million a chances. Like Their midfield was non-existent. That's, yeah. what, the, that's the worst I've seen United's midfield. Casemiro was at the kebab shop working. You guys see how- It might be Casemiro and it doesn't change, playing in this system. Bro, it doesn't change the game, but how that's not a red card. He's tack one Diaz at the end. It doesn't yeah. change the game and I don't think it matters. Yeah, he got it. But just that, I don't understand how that's a red card. went to help him up. <laughs> yeah, he, 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 he nice was nice. Smart, yeah, He's smart. Because he did this straight away. He knew. Nah, Diaz. Even Connor Bradley's tackle on Rashford with that flipped him over at the start. That was bad. Yeah, that was bad, Fucked but I think it was up. a yellow. Oh, I don't no, think it was, it was ever a red. Yeah, I don't think it was a red. My he definitely got him, but it wasn't started. So was I think it was just late. My thing is, right, mm. your team like Liverpool, you know that you have the best chance of winning that game. And I see the starting lineup and I'm like, okay, like certain players must be injured. But then I go to the bench and Jeremy, who do I see on the bench? You see Kanate. Kanate on there the bench. And <laughs> his replacement was the one that did what? The mistake for the goal. Correct. You're a 24 year old Kanate. You're sitting on the bench, which means that you're deemed fit to participate in the game. Yeah, but why you, are you not starting? You of all people can understand that somebody who's coming back from an injury. It's, it's not coming back anymore. He's played. Yeah, he just played two days ago. And you're not going to play somebody who he played, he played for France. He, he played, yeah, and yeah. he just he then and then, he, and then, then he, he played. Was, no, then he was on the bench because he just played for France. Then Quanta played. Then we then just had a played. game two days later. He, he played. started played ninety. Right. Then mm-hmm. we have a game two days later again. So do you put that on Klopp or on that's Kanate? What, that's it's, what I'm leaving. I feel to. because I why would you not want Kanate fit for the live, for the United game Thank as opposed you. to playing well, at for home me, to Sheffield? Of Sheffield. course you want Kanate fit, but based on how Kwanzaa had been playing, I don't think it's a bad decision, and I can't put that decision on the coach because he's been playing well. I think, but it's, it's, it's a big difference. Yeah. It's a difference. Kanate no, no, it's a, it's a difference. Is a huge, but gap. I can't. I, obviously, we can point to that one mistake, but if you point to the performance and how good we were and how dominant we were and how good defensively we were. Of but course- it's a game of mistakes though. When it comes I, to, when you verse the top teams, it's teams will capitalize on when you make mistakes, mm, whether you dominate facts. the game or not. Yeah, I get like that. Like when you verse the top six, form's out the, like form is out the window clearly. Look yeah, at United. Rival games as well. It's just mistakes. Like who's going to make a mistake and who's going to punish the, the other team for it? I just think on another day, 
the first half we go up 3-0 and the game's completely of dead. Course, and we don't look yeah. we don't even look at the team selection, we don't look at anything. I'm not going to criticize Liverpool at all. Except for the <laughs> fact, except for the fact that so many people were going at I know it's to bring to Arsenal, but going at Arteta for how negative the performance was at City. For me, Liverpool had to do some sort of risk yeah. minimization, yeah. mitigation, whatever. Exactly. Like go there and don't turn the game into chaos and you win the game. Feel the best 11. Surely. Make your I, team I get what you're more saying. stable. Create a, a, a game in which, yeah, you, you're obviously attacking, but you've got enough numbers behind the ball that anytime United break, they don't look like they're going to score. And yeah. that's what happened. But they didn't look like they were going to score. Apart from maybe the first five minutes. In the second half, they had chances. Yeah, in the, no, in the second half, half, after they had scored. And you're the, already up. No, but after they not, they didn't have one chance until they scored. But what, what I'm, I'm saying, saying is, you're up. Yeah, you're but the game up. was, think about how comfortable the game was. That's what I'm saying. It's that one mistake that's not even from us playing in naive or doing anything. It's just one shitty mistake that the centre back made. Before it, that, he bef- did the same thing though. He made he, a bad mistake at pass. early, early yeah. on in the game. So but it's, nothing, it's showing that no, it's, but nothing, it's not any mistake that a, a centre back wouldn't make. It's just a bad pass yeah, into yeah. it. But like I say, like uh, what Jess said, limit your, your risk of uh, like mistakes leading to goals by fielding the best 11 you have available. Uh, also I get that. that, but I don't think we are strong enough defensively to sit back and just weather whether it's so not if United are never going to do that to you though. I know they're not going to do that, but then it's either we have to try and score another goal because obviously clearly we're not, we're not completely safe. They get one chance they score. They get two chances they score. It's we're not completely safe against, against Sheffield. The game was so calm. And then one second, they, we score an own goal. They have no chances. The whole game, we score an own goal against uh, mm. Brighton. They have one chance at the start of the game. They score no other chances for the rest of the game. I'm not so. criticizing them because you guys played well and you yeah. dominated the game. But I'm just saying, I feel as though in those games where the title could be decided, not saying it is because they're on the same points, they're still top yeah. or second. But <sighs> I just feel as though they were a bit naive. And maybe it's not like a lack of respect thing for United, but it feels like Liverpool thought that whatever they did, it's all right because they're just playing United. Yeah. Like, I feel as though United were so dangerous Especially after they made it one all. After they made it one all, I was scared. Which should never. After they made it one all, I was definitely scared because the crowd gets into it, Mm -hmm. and our players. We've got a bunch of young people and and players who aren't experienced in this time of the year. Then it becomes like shit. Like maybe something's happening. Mm. But then he did make the subs. Klopp made the subs because they scored. Go up two one straight away, and he makes the subs. And for me, those subs were extremely flat. Harvey Elliott is the one who won the penalty, but I thought the subs were all extremely flat. I feel as though taking off Darwin, I just don't, he, regardless of how many chances he misses, I don't think it's, I don't think he should be the one to come off just because he creates so much. Who? Sorry? Darwin. Gak- oh, Darwin. Yeah. I just, Gakpo. Gakpo. Oh the, my the, God. Gakpo's why is he just trying to only really drop in? He's I don't get terrible. it. We need a goal. We've even, we've gone to two all. It's the 88th minute. We need to win to stay top with seven games to go. And he's dropping in next to the six to pick up the ball. No, and he bounced him. Bro, and even McAllister's yelling at him, telling him to like yeah. go forward. What are you doing? No, you know, he bounced the center back. He gave it yeah, back to him. Yeah, and then the center back gave it back to him and he passed it back to him. And, uh, yeah. With no pressure on him. And I'm thinking, uh, this doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> oh, you know what sure. it is? I think it's the world coming into balance. For all these games that Salah got away with terrible performances, but would get one goal to win them the game. This is like <laughs> kind of balancing all that. Still back. scored as well. Yeah. Still scored. Fucking, yeah. It's, Can it's we talk about the penalty? The penalty? Because uh, when I saw it during the game, I was like, that's a clear pen. Wan Bissaka, idiot. Then I, I look at the, that, but yeah. I look at the replay. It's, it's not his, the foot that we think touched him. Touched Harvey, him. There's contact, but Harvey Elliott mm. is he the draws. one who draws the, draws contact. the contact. There's, there's no tackle I until agree. he starts going down I and then it's agree. a tackle. But but is he supposed to so step over it? It's so stupid. That's what I'm saying. That I don't even care. You have yeah. to yeah. Yeah. If it's, it's if, stupid. If that's a guy on your team, are you- I'd be going off saying, that. No, no, I'm saying mate. like, are you- like you're Harvey Elliott. You're never stepping over that challenge. It's very you're, he's normal. late. That's true. He's in the box. Yeah. He's lunging for no reason. There's no, no, I completely agree. You're not stepping over it. No. So I completely get that Harvey Elliott's the one like m- making the contact, but wan is the one who went to ground in the That's box true. at that time of the game. No, you raise a good when point. you're it's so far like, away um, from the ball. 
uh, Grosso versus Luke, Lucas, Lucas Neal. Neal. Yeah, 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 that yeah, one. Yeah. It's yeah, so yeah. it's very similar. You go down early. Mm. If it's um, against me, I'm definitely saying like I didn't touch him. He's the one. It who, is a dive. Yeah, definitely. It's absolutely pre, a dive. Pre the contact, he's gone definitely. down. But yeah. you're making it easy for the yeah, ref. yeah, Which completely. Is, yeah, and and we, it's never going to get overturned. No, especially with how easy they give him these days. Can we talk about what the hell is Ten Hag doing with this back line? Mm. Well, uh, he two didn't have a choice. Ago, he injured. No, he two days ago, he had one Bissaka on the right, mm. Dalo on the left. Yeah. Today he has the switch. They, yeah. Every time, and they, then the other one gives away you know, the penalty. You know, it's every time they play against Liverpool, they play with one Bissaka on the left because of Salah. That's why. Well, I don't know Clearly, why. Surely, Diaz but I think it's but surely that's yeah. exactly what I was thinking. Surely you want one Bissaka on Diaz over Salah. Yeah. Yeah. Who is Dalo? Who is the most chaotic of the two? And Diaz was fucking good. He was skinning Dalo the whole game. Dalo isn't that good at one v one defending. No, one Bissaka is like. If Diaz had a better end product, man, this guy could and be the best in the world. And if you have Dallo, if you have Dallo on the left, at least he can work the other way, and may- maybe he makes Salah work back. But otherwise, he's Salah free because Salah's back. not going to track exactly. Yeah, yeah, Whereas Wambasaka is going to get tracked the whole time yeah. by fucking but yeah, Dallo. You know, uh, Diaz. It, yeah. yeah. I mean, oh my god, Diaz Dallo is going to get so tracked much. by yeah. by Diaz the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. So why wouldn't you try? Yeah, for me it doesn't make sense, especially because Salah's never taking anybody on one on one anymore. Like we're aware of that, but I think it's because I think he's on that side because Salah likes to work in between the the centre back and the full back. I suppose, yeah. yeah, and it's the slower centre back is on that side. Yeah, fair. it's Harry Maguire, so he needs Wambasaka there to cover because he's not going to go forward. Maybe that's why as well because Salah doesn't come back. Wamasak is not going to go forward. Fair enough. I mean, there's, there's probably the reasons for and against. Uh, but man, I just want Jota and Trent and Allison back. The worst thing is, though, like, Ten Hag is going to be so happy. With yeah, he's result. gassed. Mm-hmm. So it's like that completely takes away from <laughs> the performance they just <laughs> put out. It's so crazy. I think Klopp hates Ten Hag. I think he really hates him. This because every, week every time they excuses. get a result against us where they've been terrible, whether it's a draw or like the win in the cup, he's so gassed and he thinks he's put a masterclass. That's why Klopp came out and said, if they played like this against Arsenal, they'll win 100%. Arsenal will win 100%. It's because he yeah. knows that Ten Hag as a manager, that that is dog so shit. He trash. scrapes for, for whatever he can find to the yeah, bro. And then he, like they it. just gas it. Some of the comments on the channel, Nav Saeed said, Ten Hag showed up when the world needed him most. Football oh. terrorism. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> that's bullshit, <laughs> man. That's chaos, chaos. Uh, he also said he will bar up to Bud in advance. Oh, thanks, brother. Yeah. Uh, and he said What's terrorism. Uh, Nav Saeed. Nav, Eid Mubarak to you too, if you're... Uh, even if you don't. Still Eid Mubarak. Joshua Loudon said Liverpool still win the league. Hopefully, Joshua. Samuel, thoughts? Hopefully. And Cam G tough. said, take to another Salah stinker when Samuel going to admit he's done. When he's he he he's Saudi next year. not going to lie. He's looking, f- he's looking, I'm not saying When have finished. I been Salah lover? <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? No, he's not. He's, I don't think he's saying that <laughs> to you. Fuck? I think, it's I think he's saying it like as a, as a general Liverpool thing. I think yeah. he's not a Liverpool fan. Yeah, clearly. So I'm st- I think he's just saying it because- I already said I would take money for Salah at the end of the year if we could sign a right winger. If he, but I mean, he, he needs to stop playing. Week, so. yeah, he needs to stop playing. Week. He's, got, <laughs> he's got like 25 goals this year. Yeah. Fuck. Um, Fuck I just want to, because I did say I would be only positive about Liverpool today, I just want to touch on, give Liverpool some love. Um, first point. Is it going to be backhanded compliments? I love how little care they played with in the second half <laughs> and just went for the game. Real character. I love also how they gave United a chance to impress their fans at home. I think that was a big thing and just shows that football, you know. Is Mom, inclusive. Mom's life, I reckon some Wait, United fans. Did you come fans, up with this or is yeah. this? Yeah, this is <laughs> yeah. I, I reckon United fans, this is probably for them, some of them. This is better than Christmas. That was one of the best days of their life. Yeah. And it was almost perfect. Can we if get Juan didn't fan? do that, that would have been the best. It would have been the perfect day for their them. Their best game in the last ten years, I reckon. Yeah. Um, I also love how Liverpool, like they just overcome adversity. Instead of just seeing out the game, they want to just you know make it a bit hard so that they can overcome that. I think that is a mad character trait to have. Yeah. And the fact that they can just leak goals game to game and just still. Pull through. S- still pull through, I think, shows real character. So they they got a point. They were down 2-1. Yeah. 
I you think that's been, what champions are made of, really. You know what would have been icing on the cake? If Ten Hag did the, the clop to the finish. <sighs> oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <sighs> I would have loved that. was at the end. I would have loved that. Um, anyway, any more? You want to talk about Liverpool anymore? You good? No, nah, I'm good. Okay. Ten Hag gave him the day off, I reckon, I heard. Oh, definitely. Let's go Brighton Arsenal. Quick, quick, quick. We don't need to stay on this too. <laughs> I didn't watch this. So no, you guys don't worry. Me and MJ can cover it. It was one of the most professional. An 11 of killers. Performance. Yeah. That's like, if I was thinking Arsenal go to Brighton and the perfect performance, it was that. I, I have no fault. That's good. MJ doesn't agree. Was it uh, home or away? I agree. I agree. Away. That's good then. I agree. Yeah. Yeah, pros. I mean- People criticize Arsenal. I think I feel like Arsenal gets criticized no matter what. We play a smart game against City. Oh, you guys are defensive. You're scared. Da 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 da. And then we play a progressive attacking football. We lose. Oh, you guys. You know, you're not experienced. It shows you don't have character. So I feel like we're playing exactly how you need to play to try and win the league, and that's it. Nobody can tell me anything. Nobody can say nothing. Do you reckon? Not as English fans. I'm saying. Fans that support England, mm. like the hardcore ones. Do you reckon they hate Arsenal players that that go that uh, like go to camp? Because nah. I saw something. I hate Ben White. Ben White. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah, they hate so ben I saw White. this Twitter thing after the game, so it was already three 0 But who's gonna hate Saka though? No, nah, no. Nah, I mean, like it was just meant basically for Ben White. <laughs> oh, Chelsea okay. Because yeah. um, he said Arsenal players. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was yeah okay, okay, okay. I'm working on segues, by the way. Yeah, okay. But yeah, Ben White. I'm like, oh, he must have done something like pissed off. He must have celebrated. Did he score or something? <laughs> he, nah, did. he just did a little like he fake got, dive, yeah, whatever. Yeah. And then you got fans saying, this is disgusting. Fucking mongrel. This yeah, is a yeah. disgrace. <laughs> yeah, this guy's, this, no wonder he's not getting called up to England. This is foul. I'm like, I look at it. I'm like, he's just, this is banter. Like yeah. he's just taking the piss. He, he's, he's not a, going rolling he's a, around. He's a wind up. I feel yeah. as though if I, if I, if we didn't have Ben White on our team, I would hate him. Yeah. yeah. That's what yeah, I'm saying. 100%. There's Engl- English fans yeah. that take this like- I would hate serious. him. He's a little rat, bro. He talks, he's, I like he talks him. I love him. That he, the fact that he plays for Arsenal. He's but some of the stuff he does in games, like- Kind of like, like Robbo Trip me. players. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. He he's exactly stuff. like Robbo. Bro. I don't yeah. know. Robbo does that same nah, shit. And if, like, I love disgusting. that he does that though. No, no I love it on my team, but I hate Robbo. It's like why- As a Chelsea fan, like I look at him, I'm like, that's sick. Yeah, maybe you guys have nothing though. Yeah, they have Gallagher. Yeah, but I see what Bud means. Like shit, he, if you're an England fan and he doesn't even play for England, but he's doing that's why they hate. Him. That's why no, no. Yeah. I'm saying they hate him because yeah. he didn't yeah. go. That's why they hate him. Yeah, 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 but they they don't understand that situation though. Because yeah, yeah. I feel like that situation made it look like he didn't care mm. when the situation was more about if I'm here and you don't want to play me yeah. and I'm working hard and based off what I've done this season, yeah. just tell me yeah. instead of. Wasting, my, wasting time. my time. He knows which his is value. Completely fair. Yeah, it's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. But like just on the outside. game. <laughs> <laughs> you know just Riley sent me. <laughs> I sent it to other yeah, people. Well. Well, yeah. You know he thought it was real. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. it was he sent a, a video that's I clearly AI dubbed, dubbed well. of Ben White basically being like, Yeah, this is the reason why I'm not yeah, playing like for so England is because he thinks Harry Maguire's better than me. He's talking about like Harry Maguire's oh. been shit all season, this, that. And I go, Riley, are you mentally okay? You know, I didn't pay attention. Then when you said that, I watched it back. <laughs> yeah. and I saw the mouth doesn't even <laughs> match up. Yeah. Oh, fuck. The guy gave Graham a uh, nickname. He was like, he said something, uh, <laughs> yeah. Sado or something. I'm like, oh, right. I thought he was taking funny. the piss. Yeah, I know. Um, just quickly, yeah. I, I feel as though it was pretty complete performance from everyone. Again, oh, except for one, uh, if Arsenal fans right now, I don't want to spend too much time on it, but they are so anti Zinchenko. It's like, it doesn't matter. Yeah, they are. It yeah. doesn't the matter. The reason it, it must be because you guys are so defensively solid with the four center backs at the back that as soon as it changes, because you don't, obviously you clearly don't need him to invert anymore. Mm. You don't need that anymore. The way you're playing, you don't need it. And especially in the run in, now, mm. when it's when it's title time, it's just time. that he gives I think Gabriel so much unnecessary str- like pressure. Yeah, yeah. when he d- it doesn't need to happen, but he does he does some. <laughs> I want to talk about Gabriel quickly. That for me, when we get to the end of the season, the only conversation I want to hear is Gabriel has been Arsenal's best defender, and if there's a team of the year, anything, the left centre back spot has to be Gabriel. I don't want to hear Van Dyke. I don't want to hear. Fucking Ruben Diaz. I don't want to hear. I know every person is going to go Van Dyke by default. Van Dyke. Gabriel has been better than Van Dyke this season. For the whole season, he's part of the best defense in the league. 
We can see the least amount of goals every game. The guy takes on any striker, any duel, any battle. Any striker that's playing plays on Gabriel's side gets eight up every game. So I don't want to hear Van Dijk the season, bro. I, for me, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. Gabriel Van has Dijk. been the best. <laughs> okay. He's been the best I think Gabriel back has this been season. great. And I, and I wouldn't even... There's miss. nothing that Van Dijk but does better than but Gabriel this I'm season. I'm saying there's a way that in... Team of the years, they just put the two best centre backs. So there's a way for both of them to be in there, regardless of if they play left centre back. Both of them. I don't Wait, think it what, what should do be. Wait, what do you mean? That's my regardless of if they both play left centre back. Who? I think. Oh, yeah. Who put him in? He's saying Van Dijk. I don't think. No, it should. Why are you doing, doing that? Van Dijk will get in. You guys don't. But if we're being real, we don't have to do that. If we're being real, the two best centre backs in the league. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. We have the best right back. I disagree. I disagree about that. You have the two best centre backs. I think Van Dijk for me. Is still the best oh, centre back, bro. And uh, you can. Oh, bro. I'll it's, give you that. Yeah, because no, I don't. I don't get why he's no, not. Van Dijk is the better player. I think no, no, Gabriel but I don't get why he's he hasn't had a better yeah, season. He's, had, he's no, Van Dijk. Think about he how Van Dijk. Okay, can I bring? Can I bring rated. up a point? No. Why? <laughs> you asked me if you can. I said no. Right. <laughs> he's been the best. No, let me bring up a point because your backline has been relatively like stable and solid for this whole season. Yeah. Think about- No, it wasn't it, though. No, this is, is narrative. It's relatively stable. It's narrative. Recently. It is. He's when, got the same partner for the whole season. He's got the same centre-back yeah. partner. Our centre-back partners, we've had Matip at the start. Then it was uh, Konate and then it was Kwanzaa. We've had three you left- Konate, bro. Huh? Yeah. You dropped him. He got injured. fit he got and injured. he doesn't play. No, he got injured. You know that happened. When though. he was injured, that's the reason he stopped playing in the first place. Then at left back, we had-, we had um, Robbo, then it was Timikas, then it was Gomez. And then at right back, we had Trent. And then now it's Connor Bradley. And then in goals, we had Allison, and then it's Kelleher. All of these changes are happening around this guy. And his performances have still been so great. Yes, and he's been still good. been- yeah, Arsenal's for me, I'll give you that. No, they haven't. Yeah. Arsenal haven't had similar. They've been good. Ben White's come out of the team. Been good. Ben White's come out of the team. The only time he ever came out of the team was because his performances were down. Uh, Gabriel and, and Saliba never change. Raya, the only time he has to change is when Ramsdale, when they first Brentford. But think about it at the start of the year. The, the narrative the at the start of the year was Raya is shaky. Yeah. Raya yeah, but, is shaky. Raya is shaky. Until how many games week. was Raya recognized to be good? Maybe halfway through the season? But you Raya guys started yeah, being but good. I'm saying at least you had the same Zinchenko, shaky, in the isn't he? Shaky, defensively. Yeah, shaky. And yeah. then you were playing Timber at the start of the Kivior year Kivior wasn't well. rated when Timber he first came into game. the squad. Yeah. It was only maybe around February where people started saying he was playing well. Tommy Asu injured. Yeah, Tommy Asu injured. But think about your back four and your keeper is relatively similar. It's been relatively stable. That's what I'm and talking about. And we've been the best. But That's my point. I know you've been the best. Regardless of Van Dijk having to deal with X, Y, Z, yeah, Gabriel facts. and Saliba have been the two best centre-backs in uh, the league. They've been the best pair. There's I a big reason the why. The One of the biggest reasons why as well What's is space? you oh, have no. Allison and his, and his XG on, prevented God, was yeah. more than any keeper dangerous. in the world. Yeah. So that goes to show that yeah, Van Dijk's been good, but you guys are still leaking chances. Not and, leaking, and your yes, keeper is saving you from, from conceding goals, goals, not the defense. Yeah, Cause Ray is not like No, no, I get that. But I just think that you guys are way more defensively solid as a team. Better on the ball than Kanate. Yeah. This yeah. Guy, these guys are saying wait till next year, Levi Colwill. That's what they're talking about. He's better than Kanate. Oh my God. Anyway, on the yeah. ball. For Back me, Gabriel's the best, but I'd, I'd pick VVD Gabriel's the top two. Because I think Sabaliba's been good, but he hasn't been like Gabriel level. Now, but yeah. if, if, to me. if your defense is the best in the league. They don't do that though. That's what's bullshit. But why, no, why do you think that if your defense be, is the best- Both should be rewarded because no, I agree. one's not weaker both, than the other. That's what I'm saying though. Both of them Realistically, it'll be but VVD and Gabriel. This same guy, when, when De Gea had most clean sheets, laughed at Riley for putting De Gea in keeper of the season. So now he wants to talk about being rewarded for who having laughed, the best who defense. Who laughed about what? You no, but we statistically- Statistically, not you guys. I'm not talking about you guys. Yeah, but, but I'm saying him bringing that but up. But if he's saying we have the best yeah, defense, laughed, it's not. I, at, I don't think I he's just saying clean sheets of, because of the the incidents he does, not because he's he's been keeping clean sheets. I don't. Yeah, I'm saying like st statistic goals where he's just like. League. I think you guys are. We you have the, the best defensive unit, and you are the best defense. But to say that outright these two are just the best centre-backs in the league. I, I think, think they so. have been. They're I they think have. they have. I think they're the best they pair. I think they're the best trying pair. To fit but Van to me, Saliba hasn't been better Van than Van Dijk. Van Dijk can be the best think, yeah. defender. And narrative, yes. narrative will put Van Dijk in, obviously, because he's, he's, he's been excellent. He's the guy. Yeah. But yeah, for me, I don't think I individually, think Gabriel but and Saliba have been the two best centre-backs this season. I don't think individually they have. I think as a pair they have, but individually. Both, as a pair, individually, anything, every game. Who gets the better of them two? 
Who? Nobody ever gets the better of Van Dyke. It's not true. So that's what I'm saying. It's not true. We can go Van Dyke performances, and this some season? haven't been great. Yeah, he has been. He's excellent against Arsenal. He but I'm saying great. some but haven't been great. You're lucky that anytime Van Dyke has a, I think against anytime Saliba is not all right, like not the best. He's got Gabriel, who's the best, next to him. I think or I anytime Gabriel's average, he's got Saliba next to him, who's the best. Van Dyke, if he's average, the centre back next to him is going to be worse than him. Well, yeah. you were telling me this season, teams, this season DVD alone, you prefer Canate over Gabriel. This I season, said, you I were didn't telling say me. I would, you were. I, you remember what I actually you said? You were telling I said, me that. No, that's not what I said. What I said defensively, I think Kana- I, just only one v one defending. So there you go. Outright. Yeah. So how has he got someone worse than him if he's got Canate next to him who's better than Gabriel defending? I'm saying just defend defending only. That's not the only thing that makes a center back good. But I'm saying defending only. Canate, I think he's one of, if not the best, just defensively. And Canate's probably played 14 games, 13 games this season. 20. Has he? Yeah, but he's come off the bench as well. <laughs> Listen, well, okay, we can, well, we can have the yeah, argument so at the end of the season when it when it says Van Dyke Saliba, which it's going to. Yeah, it will. It's not going to have Gabriel. It will say that. Uh, Realistically, they could Gabriel just do three centre backs because there haven't been that many good full backs. Ben White deserves probably to be in there. Yeah, but underrated Ben White. Does sure. he deserve to be in there more than those three as centre backs? I don't think so. Van Dyke about left back if you want. I'm happy left with that. back. They could just play. Three, play they could play three centre backs because there's heaps of attackers. You can play inverted left back. Deserve to be in there. Um. Anyway, Arsenal <laughs> top of the <laughs> table. Van Dyke inverted. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> wants that. <laughs> uh, Arsenal top of the table going into the last seven games. I thought you were going to say there's another international break. No, nah, fuck that. I'm <laughs> I would have. Yeah, yeah, we'd quit the show. I would have, have to do something. another. We'd have to do another games night. <laughs> I don't know what I would have <laughs> done, but I would have done something. Fun, we have to quit the show. Crystal Palace, City, another another that victory. Game City machine game, keeps man. rolling game. on, right. and well, there's not game. really much to say. And and like I don't know if Samuel or MJ said when we were watching the game. Palace scored too early. Too early. Yeah. yeah. Like for their own <laughs> good, they too scored early. too early. Yeah, and it just meant they invited pressure for... <laughs> it was like, it was literally cod zombies. Wave after wave after wave. Yeah. Like, you know, you, you kill the first bit of zombies. Before That's what Palace did. Else, yeah. They so rocked up. Mateo, they should have missed. And you know the... Right. F- yeah, absolutely. The it's first before zombies... Before they upgraded their guns up. The first zombies <laughs> are going like this. They're like so yeah. slow. Everything, you just kill them all off. Then it goes two, then it goes three, four, and there's like 500 zombies. That's what it was. And by the time you know it, you've got shit guns still, yeah. and you've got yeah, a million absolutely. of the best zombies. Yeah, it's actually a absolutely. great analogy. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. You've got no money for doors. You yeah. can't open any That's doors. It. You can't go, even take you the can't open bus mystery anywhere. Box. No pack a punch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. nothing. nothing. Yeah. And, and before no you know it, you've got, what's that fucking idiot midfielder? Uh, Whitmore, whatever his name what, is. Yeah, whatever that guy's name is next to... Next to Will to Hughes. The, Will Hughes, the freaking... Hughes, he looks like he's 50. Against he looks- fucking De Bruyne, who's it played the best game I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, that goal was literally unsavable. Both. Which one? Yeah. It's both. Yeah. That yeah. first one. That ginger looks like a proper... Forward, that, that, was, that ginger can raps. ball, eh? There's a guy on TikTok. He's pretty good. I think you guys well, probably seen ginger. him. But he... Nah. <laughs> but he, um, he goes for Crystal Palace and he's always at Palace Games. And he said... He, there's been no midfielder that's come to like a Palace game where he has just sat there and all the fans just sit there and are just like, In like he can do whatever he wants. Yeah, like, no. they don't. <laughs> <laughs> they don't expect. There's nothing that they don't expect from him. So he was just saying like when he scored that first goal, it wasn't that they're like they were like fuck like they're just what can you do? Yeah, yeah I agree. I think I was watching this podcast um, and there's a City fan and he was saying before the game Filthy. he said. Nah, it's called Big Six. Oh. But he was saying before the game that Foden, the way Foden's playing right now, he would prefer Foden to start over De Bruyne. Yeah. He oh. said, I want Foden to play in the 10 so badly that I'll 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 deal with De Bruyne being on the bench. And it wasn't the worst comment De Bruyne before just the that. game. But it's after the game, you look like a stupid yeah. idiot. Yeah, it's insane to me. The thing is, like... It's not England. Because Foden didn't play a second. It's not the England squad. Foden didn't play a second. Didn't play a second. It's a Man City, mate. The thing That's is... Crazy. That is crazy. Foden playing 10 isn't even that bad. It's just that... No, it's no. great. No, it's, it's crazy. It's that yeah. De Bruyne yeah. would just offer 10 times whatever Foden the, can do. Th- to try and compare them as equals... That's what I, yeah, it's insanity. Yeah, to me. it is. That's, I think that's it, it is. From. Yeah, I get it. I only it's get like it based on the form that Foden's been in this season, and it's fair for him to put it because De Bruyne has been quite average for the last maybe three or four weeks, five weeks even. Mm. But then his performance in that game just you know what I realize he up. offers. You know when Harlan runs in behind 
I've noticed because I started just watching. Harlem missed that sitter as well. He did, but you know he doesn't even look where yeah. the pass is coming anymore. He just he runs just turns and, and runs. He knows it's going to mm. get to him. You know, every time the ball he played, Harlem <laughs> yeah. was running this way. The ball went like that curved into, into his <laughs> path. And even, I was yeah, like, that's nah. what I mean. Was he doesn't match. even turn his head. There was when, another match. Yeah, the one in the cup. It happens. He just put his head. He just starts running. It was the game where Harlem scored like four. Yeah, or three or four. Yeah, yeah. Luton in the yeah. cup. He just put his head down and just when, spun. When are we going to so have the um, any game? Yeah. yeah, any player that can do that, you can't nah, take nah, him he's out different. of the squad. When, yeah. when are we going to have you the Mateta? You can't compare um, like Foden. Mateta over. We can have the conversation Mateta because Mateta I over did better, Harlan. but Mateta might be a better. Because did comparison. we did we not watch that same game? Was Mateta not oh, yeah, better one holding the ball up? Vieira did say this. Bringing people in, talented. bringing people in in into the game. He's finishing. He took his chance extremely well. Harlan missed a similar chance. Technical ability alone, we can have the conversation because I've already done it. Mateta. I've done it with Beto, but Mateta is a better tech- technically. He that's is what I'm better saying. than Haaland. What Haaland offers is extremely valuable I'll and he's great I'll say at it. it if people won't say it. But if we're yeah. talking about just technical ability, there's no way that the best player in the world can have the same technical ability as Mateta. Take goal scoring completely out of it. Technical ability alone. Mateta is a better football than Haaland. I think the problem with Haaland is- crazy. T- outside and if, of you, the, if you disagree, yeah. I, just I can only put it, it down to racism, what? blatant racism. <laughs> That's the only thing I can say. Hear me out. Why Fuck is it that- hell. But do you think Mateta could do- I'm not doing no, this no, no, Mikel no, no, Antonio no, 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 thing. No, 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 listen, listen, no, listen. listen. From, yeah. I agree with you though. Listen, I agree. I listen, no, no. You don't know what I'm saying. I know what you're saying. I agree with you though. No, it's different. I'm saying- Take the goals out, mm-hmm. but do you think Mateta could do the same runs? He's pretty fast. That's, That's Haaland. That's Haaland. what I'm saying. I'm not saying the goals. Haaland is com- very, yeah. very elite. No, I'm asking you. He's no, no, he I'm do, saying he Haaland's a level well, then above. he's not the same. I'm saying, I didn't say he's the same. I just said, said technically. Technically. Alone. Yeah. Haaland makes a footballer, very technically impressive are, runs. The only movement. technically I'm saying. Who do you reckon gets more touches on the ball? Mateta. 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 Well, Mateta. It's, well, it it's depends. Different, different systems. One plays for City where they have 90% possession, yeah, yeah, another plays for Palace. You, did Mateta get Mateta more Mateta touches? I think Mateta probably had the ball yeah, yeah. more than I, I would yeah. guess Harlan. he did. So I think if, if Harlan went to Crystal Palace, he'd be a better striker. You know Harlan before, yeah, when I he had that agree. big chance, <laughs> touched the ball three times <laughs> yeah. in the whole game. Goals. Yeah, of course. Of course he's That's better than Mateta. But I think it's because Harlan has limited touches. It looks worse because yeah. it's high. It, it's so limited that you have nothing else to pick from but the bad touches. Because it's like when we saw Harlan at um, Dortmund, yeah, he looked far better than he does now. So Way I think the system thing. You know, I'm not right. talking like, about the goal, but I would still Dortmund. go out on a limb and say Mateta technically nah, is better bro. than Harlan. It just he looks better Mundi's because is. he has more chances <laughs> on the ball. What is definitely is. But you've seen Mateta sometimes do questionable yeah, things. Yeah. Technically. I have. I have. But, nah, but look at the way Mateta's he's holding not even the ball in the, Mateta's yeah, not even in the top 100 strikers <laughs> in the world. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm just using that's him as a point. That's why it's a comparison that, that I think is, is funny. Is Mateta's performance a case of you're playing against somebody way better than you, so you rise to the occasion yep. where he's actually- Mateta's not. performance was better than Harlan's performance. One, but then, one. Yeah, 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 but, but I'm, next I'm week, saying it's a base of the occasion. Next week, is it going to be the same? He's been in all right form, to be fair. I think he's been quite good for the last two months. Goal scoring. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to say- His goal scoring is never going to touch Haaland's goal scoring. But I think that's the problem. Haaland, his (laughs) whole existence is the things that- You take that away, he's nothing. But he's so good at those things. Uh, That's that's the reason why. But if Haaland was fucking versing Saliba Gabriel- Van well, de Ven Romero. It's what happens when he plays against Liverpool. Then, okay, yeah. I'll sit there and go, what What do you want him to do, really? He's playing against Palace's centre-backs. Mateta's playing against Ruben Diaz. Lerm- whoever's starting for Lerm- Lerma was, was centre-back. But and the he's difference dealing with it. No, nah, no. Nah, he's dealing with it. Those guys are fixated on defending him the whole game. Yeah. City defenders don't have to defend. They, really they defend, defend like, like 20% Absolutely, of the game. Absolutely, but look at the Except team Kanji, he's playing they're, they're, for. They're, I don't That's it. Like- look at the team he's playing with and what he has to do. Bro, how long time- he has to keep the ball in. Uh, protect the ball for an option to be there compared to what Haaland has to do. No, but any time a City defender connected. has to defend, no, I, more I likely agree than not, points. it's because of a counter-attack. Mateta looked nice. Whereas these guys are constantly on Haaland. Like, they're not leaving him. Haaland is so Haaland, much better than Mateta. Yes, no, I know what you're saying. <laughs> but... <laughs> Uh, but he looks better yeah, because he it's like he's technically looks better because he one he has probably he had probably more touches on the ball. Yeah, I reckon he did. Um, he's their only outlet when they're trying to go out. Yeah, but most game. strikers get suffocated against City. 
I'm just saying he wasn't suffocated. He was I dealing with the. I think Ennis Jack he was dealing with it. He was getting them out a fair bit. No, I don't agree. I think so. I don't agree. Jackson looked good. Jackson was good in the game. So exactly. So I'm saying, like, I'm just listing strikers that played. look good against yeah. against City. It's because of the way they play. Yeah, but old mate was awful against City. Who? Darwin. Darwin. Yeah, no, I don't think but he that's was standard. Awful. Bro. He wasn't good. He wasn't that's awful standard. at all. I don't think he was good. I'm just saying to the level, know, to the level I saw Mateta bossing up. I know, but it's a different day. game. But Mateta might be better than Darwin as well if we want to have that conversation. I'm here for that combo. <laughs> <laughs> we can start I'm there joking. and then I'm move playing. on. I'm playing Liverpool fans. I'm, I'm joking. I saw that Tom Kearney from Fulham or whatever. He plays oh, for Fulham, right? I thought you meant Tom. No, not yeah. Tom McLaughlin. Um, but he said- Who's that guy? He said, um, <laughs> he was replying to the Roy Keane stuff and he was like, if you guys want Haaland to be a good player, then like you're-, you're Kind of like you're crazy because he said all you want him to be is a killer. He scored 250 goals and he's 23 years old. He is a killer. And that's that's what I'm saying. He's saying, so if, if you're going to yeah. say anything about the way he plays or if you're going to say anything about it's it's almost like irrelevant because- It is irrelevant. Because he's 250 goals yeah. at 23 years old. He's almost yeah, a goal crazy. a game his whole career. It's and my thing is- irrelevant. If people could do that, they would do that. And of the reason why would. I feel like Harlan <laughs> yeah. gets disrespect- They can't do that. Is because they can't do that. Yeah. Then they're like, oh, he's, da, da, da. he's not he, better than me at this. Another striker here could yeah. do this. Nobody will do what he can do. I That's completely it. agree. Do you That's think, reality. Do you think Jesus right, right, would, tech, though, would switch his tech for just goals? No, I don't think so. I don't think. Wait, who? I think there's Jesus is a pure like football. Certain players like there's Jesus, dudes that are switch their football. Tech nah, he for Harlan level goals. I don't think he cares about it like that. Not like- 18 goals a season. I'm talking about Harlan. So 30, selling their soul. Like 30, 30 fucking seven goals. You're saying would Jesus sell his soul? Yeah. He probably I would. I think he would. Maybe, yeah. But I, I think he, know he, he knows the play he is though. If it meant he yeah, can't yeah. play the way he wants to play and he can't like no, drop deep to get I'm the ball. I'm not saying the normal average of, well. of, of, a, of a goal scorer every year, like selling 20. Selling soul for a billion streams. I'm saying like 37, like 37 and his goal ratio is nearly one for one. Probably would. I think would. they would. Maybe. I think As a lot striker. of strikers would. Yeah. But if you're saying just like more goals, right now. I don't think he would. Now, not just more like yeah. like whatever. I'd do it right now, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, we were saying, yeah, me and were saying like, it's fucking crazy. I didn't even score against Tuggernong on the weekend. And Haaland is scoring a goal every game. Against every, every he's goal a game in the Champions the team League. He plays against. At the highest level. <laughs> he's 23 years old and he's goal a game in the Champions League. And people have the audacity to be like, yo, this guy's yeah. trash. And the yeah. best, that's the best defenders in the world in the Champions every, League. Every, Nobody every could do that for a reason. Game. So the fact that he's doing that has to tell you that there's that's something crazy. about him yeah, that's that different. nobody can comprehend. You yeah, strikers in any league, step your game up. because We move to Sheffield United. Sheffield United versus Chelsea. I want the two I the Chelsea two Chelsea now. brothers to give their thoughts. Uh, Riley, I want you to give your thoughts first on the game. Then we're going to go to Bud. We're going to see if they're opposing. You guys are going to have a little DNM about the conversation. This is the Chelsea segment. This is my so, favorite segment. So bro. you guys have the floor to speak about this game however you want. We're not going to intervene too much. We're just going to sit here and relax while you guys speak. Okay, Let your voice. feelings out because this is pent-up aggression. I know for a fact Bud... This one rocked Bud a bit. Definitely. Because he was singing the praises on at training on this whole he week. He was so gassed about United. the United. So you did beat United. Obviously, people haven't seen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You beat they, United. Yeah. Yeah. So there's context why you were happy. You beat yeah. United. Also, if they had won this game. They would have been two points. They would have been two points behind United. Yeah. You know what's incredible really? to me? Where where we can come? I mean, six. United have like dropped like eight, eight points or something in three games. points behind six at the moment with like two games in hand. No, we can jump. No, nah. so, well, oh, some teams, are, West some Ham's teams two. two. So if we win the next two, we jump West Ham. And one of them is- They're five West points Ham. behind United with a game in hand. One game in hand. One, okay. But they would have been oh, two points sense. behind. And they, they would have had a game in hand. You know what's astonishing to me? It's, no, no, no. This is the Chelsea. No, no, I know. Oh, okay. I just wanted to say that we sat here not long ago, MJ. I don't think you were on that episode. And I said, but like, why are you getting so gassed again? But he keeps doing it. Right, they beat United. He gets so gassed. He's oh, so happy. Yeah. And then, but we said like, you're going to come back in one week, and you're going to be upset and depressed again. Yeah, it was two days <laughs> even. All right, let's. So do you want me to talk about it? Yeah, yeah, let's no, go. You would rather you, you would rather share the floor. You sure? Yeah. I know. I know what they're saying. So I'll I'll remember that story. <laughs> Look, man. I I just don't even know anymore. Like as bad as that sounds, like the confidence has just gone, mm. and it was kind of coming off. 
like you guys were saying, like it was coming off a high after that United. It wasn't a really convincing performance, but then to come away with points, like is obviously what you need. And especially right now, we need that bad. But then to drop points like we did against Sheffield is just, that's, it's a real low blow. Mm. Like it's one of those things, it's, it takes a while to recover from. And I think especially as a player, fuck, you got to be feeling that more than you would against a normal team. I'll produce this little segment for you. So all right. that's che- to all Sheffield United, yeah, to all Burnley. How do you, Riley, find optimism going into your next fixtures, which seem to be harder? <sighs> as, oh, fuck, as bad as it said, as bad as it sounds, like, do you actually really find optimism? <laughs> like, honestly, I'm. A, I, to be fair, I'm at the point. I'm just. I'm excited for next season. I'm trying to like forget about this season. It's a bit of a write-off. I, hopefully, we can do the best that we can. Finish somewhere respectable. But just looking towards next season. What was the What was the biggest problem for you in that specifically in that Sheffield United game? Sheffield United game. No chances. We had well, very sorry, very little chances. Mm. Um, Sheffield obviously had more than us, <laughs> which was yeah. crazy to me. Um, but like I've been honing on about all year, I think we needed a proper forward. Someone that's actually going to score us goals, get mm. us guaranteed. You have been saying that. I reckon Nonny actually looked pretty good, was creating something. Um, but yeah, besides that, like it looked very lacklustre. It's just, yeah. T Silver back in the team though. But yeah. any shared opinions, any differentiating opinions? You know what? For once, I agree with Ryan from three quarters of that, what okay. he said. I, like, Where was the disagreement? Um... I think when you asked him the question about where where do you find optimism, like, I guess, yeah. I think the only thing, and this is based off stats, I think we do better against the harder opponents. Okay. So if we were to find anything from anything, it's the tougher the game, the better we play. Rise to the occasion try match. type vibe. Yeah. yeah, we try we try emulate what the other team's doing in like in terms of intensity. In every game. Yeah. Pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Like Literally, well, not even Sheffield played better. So <laughs> we didn't even try to emulate Sheffield. We're just worse. Yeah, okay. But I think against the harder teams, we do, for some reason, we play them way better mm, than what we play against the, the teams true, 10 down. Mm. So if, if we're going to go off anything, it's that. And Chameleon Club. Yeah. yeah. There's no positive from that game model. That's why you're perfectly mid table. Exactly. There's no, there's no positive to take out of that game. I think some selections do worry me, though. I was going to ask. Some substitutions do worry me. Were you, op- were you optimistic when you saw the lineup? Because the lineup to me was strange. Because he changed a lot for what? I, I don't, don't understand. He's not why. playing other competitions. Yeah. yeah. Well, they have a FA Cup. I know, but, but yeah. like, there's no Europa yeah. or anything. It's, yeah, I just it's don't weird. understand what he's trying to do. Like, I'm not blaming him for the loss. That it's backline's like, probably that's never played together. No. <clears throat> De Sassi, Silva, Chalabar, Kukurea. Yeah, I don't know why Chalabar keeps coming in randomly into the team for no reason and he hasn't had one good performance every single time he's come in. And I think that's the problem. I think defensively, we were lacking consistency with the lineup, mm-hmm. which I think then affects chemistry and how we play. I'm not using that as an, uh, an escape goal for this game, but it's just <laughs> when, when certain players come in and they've, they've played like one or two games, <laughs> they come out- scapegoat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like a goat trying to get away. <laughs> it's scapegoat. Scapegoat. No, no, no. no like Tony Just Hawk scapegoat. <laughs> no, no, not scape. <laughs> Bro, stop making me laugh. My ribs. Scapegoat. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Scape- <laughs> a scapegoat is so funny. <laughs> I could just imagine a goat trying to break out of a, uh, a window. <laughs> this is why English is fucked up. <laughs> yeah, sorry, bud. So what's with the sassy at fullback? Ruin your train of thought. Sorry, bro. I don't like. I think the sassy at fullback. I like him at the center. If the out of the three, the sassy Chalabar, Barry Shile, he's arguably been the more consistent. I think he's the best the one of the three. So pair him next to Thiago Silva mm. and put fucking one of them on the fucking right. Jill Chris couldn't have started. That's what I'm saying. Mm. Fuck off. I fucking, I'm sick of battery Sheila. Like I'm at the point where <laughs> this guy can walk out tomorrow. I wouldn't give a shit. He's, he's pissing me off. Six foot, whatever he is. 
five four. <laughs> <laughs> Six foot, no, Always because it's height, <laughs> because it's, it's the aerial, it's the aerial contest he loses, bro. I saw a Chelsea fan. This is perfect. I saw a Chelsea fan. Um, he does like fan reactions oh, and Mac. stuff. His name is Matisse. No, uh, Matisse, right. yeah. something, something. Anyway, Marvel. and he said like, you guys were up two one, and you've made changes to see out the the game. You brought Badishile on. You brought um Cassidy on. Cassidy, yeah. Um, and and you're trying to see out the game. And you end up playing ping pong in your own box and lose headers multiple times before the McBurney The tallest goal. Chelsea player on the field right now <laughs> lost that first header. <laughs> yeah. Bad Ishile. Fresh. What's his excuse? Couldn't jump? You just came on, cuz. Well, what's the excuse? He did it last, uh, not the Manchester United game, mm. Burnley. Mm. Fucking lost so many <clears throat> headers again. To me, he's so lackadaisical. Like, this guy, when he plays, he's like, it's like the people that just chew gum. Mm. Just walk around. Yeah. Nothing affects him. <laughs> That's Specs talking about Nothing Kulabali. affects him. He, he got a bit of... Honestly, I would I would rather... He's still chewing Kulabali. that same gum from Napoli. Thierry Henry was right when he, he fucking... You need to be stern with this guy. Remember Thierry Henry made him push his chair in? Mm. That's what Poch needs to be to this guy. Because mm. he, he, he's, he's, he's too calm with them. And he's given him too many chances in, in interviews. Right now, you shouldn't even be talking about him. You should just go into the change room, throwing F bombs everywhere. Yeah, fuck, fuck you, fuck you. Yeah, fuck. F this. Because they what they hear on the thing is looks like what he's talking to them. He's trying to be positive, but you can only be so positive so many times before you're like, all right, it's kind of weird. Kid. It is kind of weird. It's too soft. Yeah. They're too big of a club to continue with this weird positivity thing. There's like, defending the players, but then there's like Glazing them for no But there's reason. also like being honest with the fans and being like, yeah, I get this isn't good enough. Yeah. Like yeah, the players so haven't weird. been good enough. The performance hasn't been good enough. I've never seen this from like Chelsea like at all. This. Paddy Schiele has not been the same since the injury. Since he came back this whole year. Maybe the first game, he looked alright because he played some pretty passes. But ever since then, this guy, I think if there was a start of aerial duels, <laughs> there probably is. Yeah, right? there it was called Jordan aerial now. duels. <laughs> yeah. Paddy Schiele, no, of players six three and up. Okay. I need NBA standards. number shit. one, bro. This can't probably last though, then. Matty Shida is definitely last. He came on in the 90th minute. Fresh legs and you're telling me you can't spring up and jump in the header. If Matty Shida wins the header, we win the fucking put game. put the whole loss on him. Yeah, it's his fucking <laughs> fault, bro. It's his fault. Burnley was his fault too. Yeah. So it's 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 past the point where I can be like, oh, it's the, uh, it's just the manager. Uh, it's it's, it's, it's the backline decision. It's down to single players' errors. Uh, uh, things lucky. What's his name? Fucking That's right. the six. Caicedo is lucky that we won because that was another single error that led to a oh, goal. United. So mm. he's very lucky with that. Because honestly, I would I would have come here and blasted thing just like I did with Barry Chile because he you can't just keep doing that. Yeah, right. facts. like it, you can do errors, whatever, but errors leading to goals. He's as fucking high right now. Yeah. So Barry Shile, man, if you if I don't know if you watch his shit or if you don't understand any of this, but fucking get out of the club, cuz. <laughs> I've had enough. Uh, let's go out of the Prem. By Leverkusen, unofficially, are going to win the league. One it's win pretty away. much confirmed. Yeah. It'd be the biggest one win, win job if they don't. Yeah, it would be. <laughs> one win and they've pretty much secured the league, but obviously they're playing for a fucking invincible, invincible season. season. Invincible in all comp season that they're playing so for. That is so impressive. Hang on, did they happens, get go. their first loss on nope. the weekend? Nope. Nope. No, they won. They won. Do they? Yeah, yeah. they haven't lost. Oh. They're, they're in now the DFB, DFB Pokal Bo- final. Pokal. Pokal final. So they're- on They can route. do the treble. They're realistically on route for a treble. Yeah. They haven't lost With a Europa single league. game. Yeah. They haven't lost a single game yet this whole season. They've only drawn twice mm. in the league. Would this make it the best- League run well, ever? They're two games away from the longest. They're two like games away from the longest ever unbeaten run in like in all competitions. It's way longer than <laughs> Arsenal. Way longer than like anybody. I think it's like Sporting Lisbon probably have the top one, and they're two games away. That's crazy. Damn. Yeah. Undefeated Damn. is the crazy part. I think it helped that they weren't comps. in Champions League. All this year. comps. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Europa League, they could win, but they obviously have, might have to play Liverpool if they get to the final. Yeah. Liverpool look like they, they, they're, they're going to get through. They'd be going <laughs> they would be confident, of course. Confident. I think they would be. But the most impressive thing is Harry Kane has continued his trophyless curse. <laughs> his curse, for and sure. He's broken. I mean, Coman's. They are, I know. And he's, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. This is him and Coman. Yeah. Oh, and but he just. They could win Champions League. 
They could win champions. Yeah, that's, that's where they're left. That's pretty much all their eggs. I reckon are going in that league. basket. But uh, yeah, I think even if we're, I'm saying Arsenal got knocked out by Bayern, they're not beating City. They're not better than no. City or Madrid. Yeah. So he also didn't win the like the, the cup. German yeah. like not even the cup. The he didn't even win the Community Shield yeah. equivalent. My favorite Tigo yeah. take so far ever because I don't really like Tigo's takes typically. No is if he doesn't win the league this year, no other trophy he wins in in Germany matters. He said that even if, if he doesn't win the league this specific year in the first year, if he wins the league next year, it doesn't, ma- it doesn't mean shit. It doesn't help his legacy agree. at all. I understand like the implications of this moment. Like, they this won moment. 11 in a row or yeah, something like that. I understand that. it. Yeah, yeah. Coburn <laughs> be crazy when you think about Coburn hasn't lost the league <laughs> his whole life. His whole life. Yeah. The He'll thing is, your career. Nothing. They right. won the league every year. He's PSG won, and Juve and yeah. and Bayern every year. He's won the league. The thing is, yeah. I the whole transfer didn't make sense. Their team got better though. No, like Bayern buying Kane came well, out I mean, of nowhere. Like I'm saying, like them getting him. From the rumor to them getting him was crazy to me. Like I didn't understand that. No, but it made Bayern sense for Bayern. Because no, apparently no, no, Ancelotti I'm not, wanted. I'm not, I'm not talking Kane about Bayern. And they, and they didn't sign no. off. Yeah, I'm not talking about Bayern. I'm I'm talking about like I didn't think he English, was gonna go to Bayern like in the first English place. Guys. I thought he would have stayed it's in weird Prem for him. Yeah, that's no, what I, I meant. Like, so it's just weird that I, he got sick of the no. The Daniel no Levy was apparently never gonna sell him to a Prem club. Yeah, I don't think he would. He got sick of the no trophies thing. What does that do for Kane's legacy? It's bad. It looks bad. Can he be better than Lewandowski? Can he be better than Benzema? Well, my th- Can my he be better is, than all them I guys? feel like Kane suffers. I think Kane's underrated because of that. Yeah. I think he doesn't think get he the respect be. because people don't associate Kane as a winner, which is why they don't respect him as a striker. Even though numbers wise, he's probably the best in the last 10 years, you could argue. Of, could argue. of the guys he's in the, like, the argument, of his generation, he's better than them. Who's mm. Who's... At that level, like there's obviously guys you can compare like Suarez, Lewandowski, you can, but he's never put on that level. He's constantly being put yeah. below that pecking order, which to me is because he doesn't win, which is that fair? Yeah. It can I mean, like, I think fair. it is a combination of they, they, he hasn't won, but it's also a combination of because a byproduct of not winning anything is he has no big moments. He has no moments that are like, make him the striker that Drogba mm. was, that other players was because- yeah, they won the trophies, but in those big games, he had the moments. He's played in cup finals. He's played in Champions, Champions League finals. Yeah. He's played in Euro final. And he hasn't turned up in any game of yeah. those big games. So I think it is, he he does get a bit disrespected because he doesn't have the trophy sat next to his name. But in the times where he could have, just the same way other strikers have grabbed their team and, and taken them somewhere. Yeah, I hear you. What has he done in those Be- moments? Because he's, we're not acting like he's been in a Leicester Vardy situation where he At can't all. win nothing. At because all. like you said, Champions League final, anonymous. Euro final, well, anonymous. I mean, he was injured in that final. He did come into it Which injured. Is, but the it, game's a game. it makes sense though yeah. after that, like he's now injured after the game, but he was fit enough to start. Well, apparently he wasn't. That's yeah, he wasn't. He didn't play the the semi or the game before. That. Yeah, I know, Apparently but he, he started in the final. So yeah, but I think he you can only to play. You can only no say what. you can only say he started in the final. Yeah, yeah in the Euros, yeah, you can argue that you he didn't do that. anything. There's been cup finals. The cup final when they when where they, they lost. fired Mourinho. Yeah, where the Euros he didn't do anything, but World Cup he showed up. He did his. Part. He, he also, missed a penalty he also against missed, France. They got knocked out. He also missed out. the penalty in the game. They yeah. got knocked. They out. were one 0 against France. He, if saying, they beat France, they could have gone fucking to the final. I'm saying during yeah. the tournament, he, he it means he, nothing. And I don't think mean? he was. It means nothing. How Lukaku scored what, to me. To Lukaku me, was top scorer one year in the group stage, and they didn't do anything. Nobody's ever going to talk about that. He was top goal scorer in the year they lost to Croatia. Yeah, they lost to Croatia. He was. He he was playing. He was playing shit. We were all talking about it. He wasn't shit. We were all saying Kane that was Bellingham was better. Yes, he was. That's he literally the top. Yeah. I'm we not saying go, he was the best. No, we can go he back. Wasn't, he wasn't in their top that. five best players. And everyone was saying, I remember everyone saying, we were all saying his performances, people were going to talk about, oh, Kane scored this, Kane scored this. But Saka was better. Bellingham was to better. Me, was even Rashford was better. Don't say Rashford Salah performances. Was Salah, Salah got big banks. moments. Salah has big moments at least. Salah's got big moments. He scores in big games. And he does score in big Prem games, like top of the table against City. He does do that. So that is a part of it. But- in the times where you are the person, if you're the best player on the team, which he has been, he's probably the best player at Bayern. He's probably the best player. He's been the best player at Spurs. He's yeah. been the best player at England. If you're the best player, at what point 
does the most responsibility not fall on you I think, to, to deliver something? I think True. he's he, the team he's played for has a lot to do with it. If we're talking about but the moment he's playing he's for into, fucking Bayern no, I'm and they about, can't even win the league. Yeah, but this or is the just, cup this, or the community shield. Kane to me win. can't win in, in, in both situations. They win the league. They'd say nah, but they he wins. come up with something but of it, like- does, it, does this situation kind of show, is Kane unlucky? Because does it kind of show that Bayern's always had this weird, well, not always, but in the last, let's say five years, they've had this weird issue that only now that a team's strong enough that you're actually seeing that this Bayern side hasn't actually been that impressive. It's just- MJ, 11 league. years though. No, but it's also- but, No, but like there's an argument that that's to do with the competition as opposed to them being good. But no, I get that. Kane's still a top goal scorer in the league. league. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's, it's bad. Yeah, like it's not like- yeah, That's why I say he can't games. win. They win the league. They'll come up with the narrative of he went there to win his trophy, which is- Which they, is what he did. It's no, what he did though. They'll say he won the trophy because he chose the easy way out. No, nah, Suarez Kane didn't- Kane I'm, didn't not saying, I'm not saying- Suarez couldn't win at Liverpool that. and he went I'm to Barca and nobody said anything about him. He won his First. treble straight away. Kane nah, didn't go to Bayern to win the Bundesliga. He went to Bayern to, so they think they could Champions. win the Champions League. Correct. If they don't win the Champions League, what, first what is season. he doing? What is he doing? In though? his first season. He didn't win the league either. It's his first season. It's Regardless, Bayern. Regardless, he went to- mm. It's his first season. If if any other yeah, striker goes to Bayern- That's they, the best in the world. They're expected to win the league. Any player who goes expected. to Bayern. Mane went there last year and they won the league. They got players. Mane was their number nine. But Dortmund bottled. They bottled, but they still won the league. Yeah, you know what I mean? Right, you're right. Lewandowski was there how many years? They never lost the league. Yeah. I think it was- They were coming towards the back end of-, of that the, that run. That's what I'm saying. But like who they are got they plays playing? now. Like they have two hard games a year. No, but I'm just saying to them that it's like their team got better yeah. from last year. No, nah, I don't think so. Of course it did. Not not performances wise. I'm saying their squad got better. They yeah, they, signed, they signed they signed a, a they signed a number nine who's the best perform. the best number nine in the world. Great centre back. It's not. It's it's yeah, what they you signed saw. Kim Min Jae last year who was one of the best centre backs. Right. They signed the best number nine in the world. So you won the league last year. So if you don't why, go is on to, always just, why is it just down to Kane though? It's not just, it's down, not to down, Kane, just down to Kane. But Kane's well, legacy is down to him. Exactly. Like, it can't be down yeah. to Bayern. legacy is down to him, yeah. yeah. But we're also uh, rating what? him on his first season and he scored 31 goals. If you don't have- amb- If you don't- uh, For me, I just feel like he hasn't really shown ambition- to win trophies, other he would have left Spurs ages ago if he wanted to leave. If he wanted to win trophies, then he's taken the opportunity to leave Spurs, yeah. gone to the easiest league possible to right, win it's trophies. A, it's the only league he's where he's gone to the so team that outright like, won well, we're eleven trophies we're discrediting in a row. Discrediting Bayer Leverkusen, though. I don't think really. No, I'm not. I'm saying it's the most you impressive. You just said it's a one. There's only two hard games a year. Exactly, and that's against Bayer Leverkusen. And no, Bayern. but now that well, you you can clearly see it's not though. Because when you say two hardest games, you wouldn't have said Bayer at the start put, of the year. Put Liverpool, Arsenal, put Liverpool, Arsenal, put Liverpool, Arsenal, City in. Bayer Leverkusen have gone undefeated. Do you think no, no, Bayer Leverkusen know, are going undefeated you, in any other league? I think Bayer Leverkusen got a better squad no, than no, Bayer. No, no. I'm saying at the start of the year, if you said there was two hard games of the year, you wouldn't have said Bayer. Yeah, yeah you of would, course you I would have said have. Dortmund. It's in hindsight, so it's though. It's saying that the league's gotten better. It's not the worst. No, it's in hindsight. No, no, I'm saying that but the how league has gotten better now that we're not just thinking of Dortmund as being can the you, can, Realistically, can you say the league's gotten better if one team's about to go invincible? No. Has the league gotten better? But they're invincible in, in all comps. Yeah, it's not just, yeah but it's the not comps just, are Europa League, yeah, which is Europe. fair enough. They're going to, Liverpool going to go invincible in Europa League. No, but this, this is invincible in everything though. Yeah, but because yeah. the Bundesliga is the main thing. The other cup is only German players. They're first. They haven't lost. You're first and you've lost in the Prem and in, in the Cups. I'm saying the Prem is in the harder. Thing. No, no, the I know that, but you've lost in the Cups in the thing. That's what I'm saying. Can you say that the league is more difficult if they haven't even lost no, the no, game in the league? It's gotten better. I'm saying it's improved. Why from, though? From what we used to base one it on. One team has improved. Dortmund. There's only one yeah. team that's gotten better. And then two better. teams no, are worse. How? Or Dortmund are on Dortmund. 50. Bayern are now closer to the other, the other three than, than, than Bayern. That's because Bayern have gotten way worse and Leverkusen think, have gotten do you think better. They've gotten way worse. Well, yes. considering Dortmund's on fifty three points, Leverkusen's on seventy six points. Jesus. I'd yeah. say that Leverkusen <laughs> has clearly gotten They're better, gonna win the and all the other week. teams what? haven't done a thing. That's that's a big outlier. Six. Damn. Dortmund is fifth, and Leverkusen are twenty three points ahead of them. Yeah, it's crazy. It is crazy. 
But I'm just saying it's not just on. It's not just all Kane's Arsenal fault. Are 11 but we don't think it's all Kane's fault. No one fault. thinks it's all exactly. Kane's fault. Arsenal are 11 points ahead of Villa in fifth. They have to win the Champions League no, this year. Come, come home. Arsenal. That's a hard, yeah, that's a big thing to say, to win Champions League in your first well, season. That's the reason he went to Bayern. It's not in his first season. And it's season, not like though. it's a crazy time Imagine, you go to it, and do I, it. Though. I'm not saying, if he wins the Champions League in two years, you, then you can give him the Champions League. That's still the Champions League. But they failed to win the league. 31-year-old Ronaldo went to Juve. And if he didn't win the league in, in his first year, imagine everybody, the way that they would talk about Ronaldo. He didn't win the league one year where, they, where Inter won it. And they were, he was like 34. And people were saying, my God, Ronaldo can't even win in. He this guy, win. Kane is at the peak of his powers. I don't think he's been, he's never had a season better than this. No, nah, because then I agree with what you said about um, he, he doesn't show up in like the moments where you need him. Yeah. I agree hasn't. with that. Yeah, he hasn't, yeah. That's what I'm saying. But, I agree with that. But that could all change if but, he turns up against Arsenal, think, if he turns up in the semi, yeah. if he turns up in the final, then I'll say my bad. Yes, have a Benzema run. Yes, have a Benzema run. But Benzema there. fucking did that shit, did he not? What? He was Madrid. Madrid's team when Benzema turned up every single game of <laughs> semis, quarters, final, he did that. Yeah, but how many years? We're not saying that Madrid team alone we're not is saying way your, better than your guys. Your guy Didier's, his Chelsea team was better no, than this Bayern team. How many years did, did, was it after Ronaldo left? Yeah, but that's you when- We're not taking that into account. No, but that's the first time he's been in by himself. That wasn't the first year. Yeah, it was. No, it wasn't. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. No, it wasn't. I think it was COVID one year and then Benzema. No, the, the one in between. There was one in between COVID and the year they won Champions League. Yeah, maybe there was one in between. One season. So two whole seasons, didn't, didn't nothing. We didn't see nothing of Benzema. Then he exploded in that year where they won Champions League. What do you League. mean? They beat- they beat Liverpool with Salah. That we beat Ronaldo them. was still there. We yeah. beat them. Yeah, Ronaldo was yeah. still there. When we there. beat yeah. them, he was on his own. Yeah. So that's that whole season. That's what I said. That one season. Yeah, one season. And then, then COVID. Yeah. That wasn't COVID. There was one and then COVID. Yeah, yeah, yeah. two yeah. seasons. Oh, what's your no, point? No. No, I'm saying that, okay, Lewa's there. Say Le- been Lewa's turning stays. up. Yeah. Say Lewa stays. They lose Before them year. things already. Before that. What's the narrative? Say what? Say Lewa's there, they lose this season. What would the narrative he's be? He's already he helped them win. That's one. the narrative. Yeah. They, he's old. He no, but what would, what, what would we say? What would the narrative be? Not Nothing. us. What would it be? But it d- lost. But they win. lost the league Lewa as well. Went, Lewa went I'm to saying, Barca. Like, this is the exact same situation. Do you know and, why? And Lewa there. Do you know why? Lewa went to Barca first season, the year before they finished third. He won, they won the league first year. Yeah. Against Madrid, who are clearly better than the, the teams that... We're not going to sit here and say that... That was Madrid. Wasn't Madrid's one of their worst seasons? It's not one of their worst seasons. But, all, buy, buy but all I'm what? saying but is, look at the teams in in the. No, I, I agree with that. But I'm just saying it's some, sometimes they're too hard on. I don't know. Suarez went in his first year. They won the treble. Um, Lewandowski left by left Dortmund. Won every single trophy. Suarez won nothing at Liverpool as well. That's what I'm saying. He went when he went to the team. That's yeah. But that he's supposed to win. He, at. he went with Messi, bro. He went Messi, Neymar, but won. Bayern. He's have at, won the league 11 years in a row. It's yeah. not a, it's, it can't be just, oh yeah, well, no, they tried hard. But I agree with you in some things, but I'm saying the narrative of it being uh, Kane is like, I Kane know, as a bro. reason for it is crazy. I think I'm just saying he's cursed. Because, yeah, because I think he's joined at, at their time where they're going winning. down. He should be winning. They've already hit their Ronaldo mountain. went, but if, they're doing this. If Arsenal had lost the season that Haaland, I mean, if City had lost the season, Haaland went to City. Imagine the way that, People would be, they'd be saying, nah, Harland, City didn't need Harland. They didn't need this. But he went there. They won the treble his first season. Yeah, I just think. I don't think it'd be the same. That's the expectation. <laughs> the expectation is you go there. You're the best striker in the world. You're going to the team that's the best team in the league. They brought him right. to win the Champions League. Like you have said. to win. They bought Harry Kane but to win the Champions criticism, League. criticism, but it yeah. wouldn't be the same level as Kane. Did they buy Harry I think Kane? people are very hard on Kane. Did Bayern buy Harry Kane to win the Champions League? Yes or no? Correct. Did they buy him so if the they league? don't win no. the Champions League, it's a failure. In it's a failure. In he's failed. Season. He's it's failed. also buying not he's Manchester failed. City in the German League. Of course, no, it's, it's more than City in the German League. But, but, but like, it's same, same. Like, well, yeah, 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 comparing, yeah. Like yeah. it's like going, going to Juve. Like they're going to win everything. Back in the day, it's like it's like Ronaldo going to Juve. It's like Neymar going to PSG. It's like Lewandowski going to Bayern. It's like Suarez going to Barca. That's the same. Haaland going to City. That's that same transfer but he's the only one who who didn't win <laughs> no no i just i just think people are very hard on kane 
Yeah. He's 30 without years. The, without he's 30 years old. Realizing what he's done a trophy. with what he's had. You can be exceptional. You can be so good. Even Gerard won Champions League with the worst Liverpool side. Yeah. You can be exceptional. You can be good. That Liverpool side Gerard is what- won at least FA Cup or something. Yeah. No, no, I know. You know and you know, he, you know he's got moments but they as well. also moments you where they won moments. the FA Cup. In the Champions League final, who, who freaking Carlin Cup. Who brought them back? Yeah. No, what? that's true. He's certain had players like have certain 10 years FA Cup. I don't think he has that. I don't think he has that ability to be like, I'm going to grab the game. He's a fucking striker. No, but it's a bit, It's an ability though. Like you said with Jogba, he but wasn't the best goal scorer. But he had that ability to just uh, no, Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, think I meant he has that. that. I exactly, agree with you exactly guys my point. Yeah, yeah. yeah so. I agree with that. Yeah. But I'm just saying they're very hard on him when it comes to like things like this. I think it's really just, it gets to a point, bro. That's what it is. You can be People great. Fed up. You can be Harry Kane uh, great. Fed up with what, but I'm no fed ex- up. Is there an expectation for Yes, he has to at win. Tottenham? No, at the time he was like at Tottenham and was doing- Get me one and trophy. And still getting stiff. It's, it's, get yeah. it, it's get them one trophy. Yeah. You can't have the club's best player in there. Yeah, absolutely. The history There's of the their club. You, you have to get it. City, Winning you have to get him one trophy. A good Liverpool team as well. Arsenal won FA Cup. Everyone else was good. Arsenal won FA Cup with Aubameyang and Aubameyang got him one trophy. You watch Arsenal's COVID, bro. Watch Arsenal's COVID. Then Tottenham. No. Watch Arsenal got- Aubameyang got- We finished eighth. Aubameyang got Arsenal in FA Cup. We finished You don't remember how good their squad was? How good Tottenham's squad was? When they made to the Champions League final, they had, good, they had a good. They had a good. Ericsson, no, who was Ericsson, it Ali, Son, who was it against? Kane. What team was it? Liverpool. But you're no, but saying Liverpool this. team though. The not best, the, the, the best Liverpool team. Not the best. Team. It's not the Liverpool, Liverpool team that won the league. That was one of the best. No, bro. That were better last the season before. Yeah, but they were still. But just then you great. can say that but Chelsea, the, your fucking Chelsea team yeah, that won bro. the Champions League, you beat City in you, the final. You yeah, yeah, exactly. You With can the, get something. That squad. That squad is. You can get not something. This it's can't Pick take me up that one. Can't take me up a Carabao Cup at least. I'm just saying the same way Vardy got Vardy got Leicester league title. Imagine that. It's like that. But then when he does it, it's like oh he. It's like another excuse though. That's no, what I'm saying. Hasn't he done it? He's never done no, it. No, but I'm saying it will be. Like basically- Kane's things. legacy would be completely different if they win Champions League this year. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he won anything. If they win, cha- no. If they win the league, I personally would have still been like, yeah, I don't care. Me, I can admit Th- that. That makes my point. I can point admit that. I can admit that. No, no, but the fact that they didn't do it is even worse. Neymar still than, held than to- than no. Neymar's held to a failure at PSG yeah. so because he didn't win the Champions League. Yet yeah, they that's, won the league probably four exactly. times. He was he third in Ballon d'Or. He took him to the, ch- Champions, League to the Champions League yeah. final on his back, but now he's, it's a failure. Whereas Kane didn't even win the league in- <laughs> He didn't, he didn't even, even pick win. up a German cup. Now, nah, but okay, so say he does it the year after. If he does it the year after, what is like? Is that if he wins the Champions League for me, if he wins the league next year, if he wins Champions League next year, I'll stay cool. It's the league. I'm saying the league. Nah, I don't care. If he wins the league next, they've already lost the league. Lille won the league in between PSG. Yeah, one was there. Yeah, and and it's a fucking failure. That's why I think. That's why I think Poch. uh, Yeah, Poch Poch is the the worst manager. How can no, you lose the league uh, in France? Exactly it doesn't take away from one. Neymar or, or, or It does or because everyone does now. It's everyone pathetic. doesn't take away everyone, from Neymar and Mbappe. Of course, it does. It does. It does. No, it doesn't. No, no but way it's it does. not the first year. That wasn't the first year. People literally forgot about That's it. That's not now. the first year though. No, but I'm saying that it's was worse. after they'd won the league like four times in a row. Then they lost. Oh, so what's this then? It's Kane's first year. It's his first year, bro. But it's Bayern. It's yeah, worse for Bayern than worse for Kane. No, no, it's how is no it, it worse can't be worse for Bayern. Bayern. Um, okay, I had a question. Kane, what's this? <laughs> Moments <laughs> versus performance. Are narratives more important than stats and figures? And this is oh. literally what it falls into. Kane. <laughs> Segways, you've been working. This is segue. perfect. And Sam brought it up today <laughs> with Kobe Mainu scoring, but not having a good Same game. But everyone's going to remember... The goal, Kobe Mainu scores against Liverpool. They draw two. Does a hectic celebration. Bruno scores against Liverpool. So ask the question again. Sorry, what is more important when you're looking at football? Is it stats, figures, or is it like narratives? Because I've seen this guy on TikTok, and he made two videos. One was why Zidane is so overrated. I saw this guy. It was great. And one is why Zidane is one of the best players ever. The same guy made the video, and he said you can look at it both ways. And if you look at it. Based on stats, based on trophies, figures, trophies, everything, Zidane looks like this player. But if you look at it based on narrative, Zidane looks like this, like a completely different player. Yeah. So what do you think is more important? Look at Drogba, for instance. Stats wise, he's probably not in the top 30 strikers. Less goals than Jamie Vardy. Less goals than Jamie Vardy. Is Drogba a better player than Vardy? Of course. So yeah, in- But narrative wise, I would go for that. Better than- they're rating better. Who? Like they'd say narrative wise, 
Drogba's yeah, a better striker people, than Henri. Drogba's name comes up in the best strikers of all you know time. I mean? like, because even if of it's the not better than Henri, but yeah, yeah, yeah. he's like, a big game player. player. He turns up. He always is there. Scores finals, in finals. Scores in all everything. Finals, That's the first finals, thing you think of. Drogba scores in finals. Where do you yeah. have the? Where do you hold the two? Because you can look at Zidane and his highest goal scoring seasons like fucking nine. I don't know. I'm making this up, but this is what the guy was saying. Um, he's got sent off in the fucking. He won only one league title. Or he something won stupid. only one league title at Madrid. He X Y Z. And they use but the then, same. They use the same thing with R nine as well. Yeah, they did an R nine one. He said. Okay. He d- he said the year he won the Ballon d'Or was based purely off the World Cup and how good he was in that. He World scored Cup. twelve league goals he that scored, season. He won the Ballon d'Or. He never. He had never won a Champions League, and in his whole career, he never won the league in Italy once. The only time he ever won the league was once in Spain. So he's already has one league. League. He has only one league title in his whole career. He has no Champions League. He scored only thirty Champions he's League goals. At all. He's scored only but thirty Champions League Brazil, goals. He's ever. got two World Cups. He carried Brazil to the final of the other World Cup. And he's got two Ballon d'Ors. And he's got two Ballon d'Ors. Three Ballon d'Ors. Three, two Ballon d'Ors. Two. Two, two Ballon d'Ors. He's got two Ballon d'Ors. And yeah. he's got every Big where moments. he went. He scored like his goal to game ratio is fucking. You remember impeccable. But the narrative I mean. is he never he couldn't win the league. At all. At Madrid, he couldn't you, win the Champions League at all. Exactly. Madrid, you remember his hat-trick away from home again at Old Trafford. In the World Cup, you remember, obviously, the goal, the, the double in the carried. final. Straight off knee, Rico. Would that count as a narrative as well, though? Yeah, it's a narrative. Yeah, yeah. That's a narrative, yeah. for sure. But then we're saying the narrative is... It means saying, one thing. Well, I'm yeah, saying, no, but we're saying, I'm the saying accolades. It counts for both, though. But if I you go think, accolades, specifically, yeah. he, he doesn't have... He's got two World Cups, but club accolades, he doesn't have shit. Yeah. yeah. And amount, to, amount of goals, goals he doesn't players. have. Yeah. He's no, got then the narrative is versus the narrative completely yeah. tears up. The narrative his, comes from, there's like the big moments, moments, the big moments, what who he's he was, done. what he was as a player yeah. when people were I watching. There's a bit of a mix, that. but yeah. we can do like, we can do, um, we can do Zidane. We yeah. can do fucking facts, figures, everything. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah I hear that. What do you guys think when you're viewing a player? Is it like Salah? Is it the the stats? Is it his consistent goals every game? Because or is it big moments like Kane? Kane is the perfect player. Kane could go down in history as one of the most underachieving players in world history, or one of the best players in world history. I think for me, I'm I'm I've grown up in a narrative era, so I think the yeah. way I view players is I like narrative that way as well in terms of like what they do in certain moments to win something or to like, to change the game or like to change like Ronaldinho at Barcelona, he's come in, he changed Barcelona. Like that's how I look at it. Even though statistically you wouldn't be able to, he wouldn't be even comparable. Yeah. To Other any than of maybe two seasons, three, also the fact five that he winners. Had four seasons of top football. Yeah. 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 In his it whole does, career. That doesn't yeah. come close to some of that. Is other Ronaldinho guys? one of the greatest players ever? Yeah. Yeah. Does he have any yeah. stats comparable to, to, to anyone? True. Ryan Giggs. Yeah, and I and I agree with MJ with that as well. I think narrative for me would be the one. Just purely off like you get remembered for it, I, I guess, more. So for an, for an example, it'd be like Shearer is the highest goal scoring strike uh, in the Prem, mm-hmm. numbers wise. Won the league as well. But we still... We still Shearer won the fucking league. Fuck Kane. Yeah. yeah. He won the league. Yeah, yeah. But at Blackburn, right? Mm. We we say Shira is the highest goal scorer. If Kane then, had stayed, he would have been. But then we remember like Aguero, a, Aguero, Rooney, Suarez, Henri. Yeah, like Henri. Their like, moments. Yeah, like I meant like the guys that scored the most. Like mm. yeah, 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 I get you. Mm. Yeah, yeah, so but it's really Aguero and and Rooney and Thierry Henry that we remember more. But they didn't score more goals than him. But we class them as better. Mm-hmm. I guess not players, but uh, yeah, yeah, you would yeah, say players. Yeah, you would say. But yeah, you'd base it off narrative that they're mm. better. But a lot of people could make the argument for even strikers that have scored less goals, exactly what you just said. They're better players than the guy and, with yeah, the most sure, goals. Yeah. Neymar is another one which would be huge. I reckon once Neymar's career is finished, you could paint the narrative that he is the most failed footballer of all time based on potential, based on what he was expected to do, based on the fact that he went to Barca, they won... They won the treble only while he had Messi. He went to PSG, couldn't deliver them a Champions yeah, yeah. League, couldn't deliver Brazil World Cup never won countless times, never won a Ballon d'Or, never had a season where he, he completed X amount of games. But but statistically, if you look at Neymar's stats, he's better than maybe 
98% of footballers that have ever played football. He'd be in the top 10 statistic, just statistically, in terms of assists and goals, and especially the game. Yeah. Yeah. And But to be honest, he has big moments as well. He does. So it's he a does. bit difficult like, yeah. with him to judge yeah. it because he's got moments. It just that, depends how they out. paint the narrative. Anyway, this guy, I'll send you his TikToks because they're, they're actually that's fucking actually, interesting. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. It's, it's interesting with Neymar because say you pick one side, the argument for the other would be so strong. Yeah, against. both that's are so exactly strong. Right, yeah. It's like hard, like... The way I'll, show, I'll send you guys the Zidane ones in the chat because he makes it sound so fucking Bad. compelling. The, yes. yeah, the one where he was- I was going, what? what? Zidane didn't do this? I was going, oh my God. What's the other good ones for like stats? What's it, What's like the stats arguments? Well, you could, Lampard. You, you could look you at look Lampard. At, I think the you Salah and Hazard Salah one is like Hazard. the biggest one. Hazard is completely narrative. Mm. Yeah. Completely. Hazard yeah, there's is completely- no stats that sit on Salah's side to make, I mean, Hazard's side to make him better than Sterling, yeah. Mares, half these guys. But, but you, you as just, a, you the player him. he was, helped Lil win and their league match, title, came to Chelsea, yeah, really just true. every game was their best player. Yeah. And it's, I feel as though it's a lot of, there's players that you remember watching and when you watched them, you don't even have to hear what their stats are. You don't even have to hear what people say yeah, about facts. them because you know that, like I said, I know that I watched Hazard and every single game I watched him or any time he ever played against Liverpool, I was the, I was so scared. Like you're we had to double up, triple up. And then after the game, you're like, fuck, this guy's the best player in the league. Burkham could be another one. But does that yeah, also yeah. like really affect it? Like depending on what era you've watched them 100%. and like whether you actually have watched them. A hundred percent. Because if you are looking at like, if let's say you don't really know much about Ronaldinho, you haven't watched games, but then you're looking at the stats, you're going to think he's shit. Absolutely. That's, why the, that's, what, that's what, what the problem is. is. Yeah. That's why the kids all now nowadays are saying yeah, like, this guy's yeah. better than this yeah. guy. It's like, they'll be like, Rodrigo scored more goals than Maradona and he's yeah. best ever. You think Maradona yeah. could be better yeah. than anybody? Yeah. Like, yeah. they'll be like, what? Yeah. I think yeah. there's more people that tune into football now, obviously because it's just the world in general. Like, it's just- It's more accessible though. Mm. Yeah. yeah. But I think there's less people that watch that matches. Understand. 100%. Yeah. So then that's why it's going to be based off- Stats. Stats now, from now on. Which it's is shit. Stats. Like, when it comes to like, say the city era, when it ends. It's going to be my biggest it's issue. Just, People are not going to think of like Bernardo Silva. I was going to just say that. Just then. Uh Like, uh, what's his name? De Bruyne they would think of. They will, yeah. Just. They will, De Bruyne, yeah. But like those players are going to be like washed out. But mm. if oh, if okay. you ask, ask a player that like knows football, mm. they're, they're gonna say one of the most important yeah. players. Well, most yeah. kids will say that Foden's clear of uh, Bernardo Silva. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. They would, which is 100%. Which is crazy. And but it's no, no disrespect to Foden. At all. Yeah. It's just mm. that. But the people who watch, watch Bernardo Silva know watch that football. this guy is one yeah, of the best players in the world. That's all you can do is just watch the game, yeah. man. It's just, yeah, it's like, it's just going to get worse, I think. A hundred percent. Because it is worse. Because now it's just, they're just going to build athletes. Like well, you can even see like, on, on that note, the way like football set up now, it's, the system is you, you find the athlete. First. And that's it. Yeah. Whereas before, like, that's why we don't have like registers. We don't have tens. We don't have cr players now who, for example, and, and somebody raised this in the, City Arsenal game. There's no player now that's going to do something like Ronaldinho, that like the 100%. Neymar, who mm. can come and just do something crazy. Mm. That's never going to get like, sold. But that's I, getting washed out of the game. Look at so. The, do you think <laughs> that means you need a player that's going to have a better narrative than stats? Then, or does it need to be more? I think, than stats. I think we're heading more to like stats. To stats. stats, and mm. that's it. Oh, I saw the best meme ever, and it was. It's so crazy that football's literally turned into this. And it was that, do you remember the cartoon Nike ad where they built yeah, yeah, the yeah. robots oh, yeah. of the, the professional players and made them verse each other. Oh, yeah. And it was like, these guys are just efficiency, completely efficiency. Ooh. And it's like in the head, it's like, he's got to do this so he can do this and then do this. And then they win and then whatever. And then in the end, the freaking, mm. the, yeah. the real right. players win because of creativity. Man. Which is what like a theory for me is like, this is crazy, but because if we're going to go that way, does that mean the league is going to be closer in general because the teams that are lesser aren't going to really I have think the skill gap isn't as big anymore between the best wingers in the world and wingers who aren't as good the gap is the gap is the efficiency it's the you score the most because look at Jared Bowen and compare Jared Bowen to any like regular winger who's not like rated so highly so No, nah, but he's scoring a lot as well to Somebody who's not scoring so much. Doku. Yeah, exactly. No, Doku's better than Bowen in. I don't know, anybody. Fuck, I'd probably think Travis of Skelly, there you go. Nah, I won't. Nah, I know you'd like, uh, like- I just want like just a, just a regular guy, week, a regular guy, a winger who's just average, yeah. but he's just a regular winger. He's not techie, he's not anything. So, so, I, 
No, but Sal is the oh, same as Bowen. Some of you, some of you. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. the same as Bowen. Some All right, let's go that. to. I don't know what things of this is. <laughs> Brendan Johnson. You compare Brendan Johnson to Jared Bowen, right? As players, they're not too far apart in terms of players, but everyone would be like. Jared Bowen is clear of Brendan Johnson because of his goals and assists. Yeah, makes so sense. when it's now, I think the skill gap it used to be, this guy's a much better footballer than yeah. this guy. But now the skill gap between the best players in the world this and the average scores players, way more he scores this guy. way more goals yeah. and he gets goals. way more assists. That's it's what, I'm, technical that's what I'm, I'm saying though. If, if it keeps going down that path, say when like a, a winger like Brendan Johnson takes on a team, like for instance, like that has a Bowen, he's going to be a better player and he's going to influence the game more than a Bowen though. I feel like if we keep going down that path of- Oh, I get what you're saying. Yeah, like I'm saying like, it's yeah. like the ad where like, it's in the down to like- And then it gets to the, the, create, the creative players and the better footballers exactly. are like going to be- Problem solving. Because if you're just going to go down the line of like- Goal scorers, goal scorers, athletes, goal scorers. Goal scorers. Then you're not really giving him time to like problem solve on the pitch. Yeah, like yeah. The game's unpredictable. Yeah. So it's then it's going to be down to That's players nice, that can do- That's a nice debate. I like it. That uh, can do the things. Last topic. Sorry, Riley, last topic. One Future Football. We haven't spoken about this at all. Guys, we are the f- new management team of Tokyo hey. Youth Club. What Tokyo a kid youth that is club. as well. What a freaking kid. That's so nice. Tokyo Youth Club. We are yeah. the fucking, we're running Link the show. In the bio. We're working closely. <laughs> working closely. We got a tight knit, close relationship with the star herself. Bud, you know her? Samuel, but you Bud know us. I was yeah, scared no. you were going to say the wrong person. Yeah, no, nah, I know her. Yes, sir. Come on, <laughs> Naomi. Naomi. Miss Osaka. We, boss. We're speaking to her I every day. Boss, we have Zoom calls every day. What she wants. Yes, what she boss. wants to get out of the project. Everything like yeah. that. So, just to give you guys a little bit more information, One Future Football obviously is a virtual league. Um, Created by fucking hella people. Bro. It's got AI shareholders. <laughs> Patrice Evra, Lingard, Kamar Usman, Kyrgios, Oof, who all Osaka. own clubs. And it's re- it's pretty much football manager with full simulation, stats, storylines, everything. Like the depth, crazy. Or the amount of work gone into injury, it. Man. It's crazy. And we are managing Tokyo Youth Club, who after the first weekend of games... Clean sheet, baby. <laughs> Clean, Clean sheet. sheet. Clean sheet, baby. Top baby. of the table. Three zero. Top of the table. You want to tell the, the crowd everyone's roles? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. How do I? And then basically, guys, if you want to get involved, mm-hmm. what we need you to do? Go on the oneff.com website. Sign up. Sign pick up. Pick the club you support, which is yeah. Tokyo, Tokyo Youth Club. You can start tra- training our players to make them better, which means they're better for the games. Yep. Yep. And if we fucking win, you know, we'll get some prizes. We'll maybe get you guys some jerseys, send them yeah. through. Yeah. Just make sure you Who sign up this? and register exactly. at oneff.com. Get those fucking player cards. You can buy player cards on there, train yeah. them, make them better, everything be, like hey, that. And we need to keep this management job doing yeah. for the next year. We're trying year. to win the league because if we do, big things are happening. The anyway. So. Last year, we finished second last. Like it's because we weren't managers. Yeah. First game, tell them, tell them, tell them. And the season now, we'll fucking win. We went away to Riyadh Stars. Top, yeah. First game, we were predicted, True. they're predicted to finish top six. Definitely. What did we do? We set up with a nice five at the back. Took inspiration from Chelsea Conte. <laughs> Five oh, at I the back. We had our little c- Victor Moses. We <laughs> had our little Marcus Alonso. And what do we do? Clean sheet, smash and grab. That's it. You know, smash and grab. You know who I am? I'm Pep Linders. Yeah. I don't know who that is, but it was oh, the the, coach. he's the, uh, the Liverpool assistant yeah. coach. He's the brains behind Liverpool. Okay. I wouldn't say that then. Um, pause. Let's go. <laughs> pause. <laughs> All right, so basically, yeah. One first game of the season. Exceptional oh. start. We 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 really earned the victory first of all because yeah. we we waited home. we were patient we waited we went all the way to Riyadh where's that bud Saudi Saudi Come exactly on. we went all the way to Saudi what, from what Tokyo timing. you know how long that flight was for the players twenty three hours at least ten hours I it was twelve yeah <laughs> oh yeah probably is. Now he no, Riley, Riley means we oh, go there. to Tokyo, then go to yeah, yeah. Saudi. Yeah, yeah, then yeah, Saudi. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. You're the right. players were they were jet lag fatigued, but obviously as well. by our strength and di- conditioning coach, he I had know the, the players climates. feeling right. Exactly. Yeah. Saudi. So we got a few questions quickly to help everyone understand your roles properly at the club, and you answer a couple questions. All right, Mike. First, firstly, for you, how ideally do you want? 
as director of football at the club. And pasta as well. And, pa- <laughs> and, and club pasta. How do you want the club to run? What's our approach? Well, I think we've got to be, we've got to be, a, it's, it's just a hostile takeover. <laughs> yeah. At the end of this season, we've got to own this whole company. Yeah, That's yeah. all I care Sorry about. Soccer, yeah. uh, no, but on the real, I want us to finish. Like an infection. First, but ideally top three. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Get to finals. I think one of our players has to be player of the season at least. Yeah. We need got top Bad goal. DK. Bad DK. Yeah. We, yeah. Have, we need clean sheets of the season. We need everything. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I like yeah, that. That's, yep. that's how he wants the club to run. And from a management to player relationship, how are we approaching the situation? Well, I trust the manager. You yeah, know, I trust the manager. <laughs> it could answer. Yeah. You know, we hired him for a reason. <laughs> yeah. Trust the manager, and we let him do it's his thing. Yeah. Um, and yeah, that's that's it for now. Yeah, uh, Bud. Yo. As strength and conditioning coach, as we mentioned before, right. what what kind of operation do you run with the players? So my key thing is when I looked at the league, I saw that it's a league that's you know scattered. All across the world. Mm. So there's matches, different climate. Very true. True. Um, whether that's hot, cold, rainy. Those are climates, High altitudes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. low altitudes. You're, you're spot on. So my thing with training is looking at our roster. Yep. Looking at our fixtures. Yep. And adapting a adequate training yeah, program adequate for all players. Yep. yep. Whether that's the defenders. So keepers have their own. Of course. Defenders own. Yep. Attacking midfielders mm. with the attackers, defensive-minded midfielders with the defense. Exactly. But yeah, what kind of regime did you put them on? So I've put them on a so for the so it's specified. So for, for the Saudi game, mm. I did a lot of hydration. Yeah, exactly. Smart. So less food, yeah. more hydration. Yeah, and you obviously consulted the the club chef. Obviously, over that. Obviously, yeah. me and yeah. Riley sat down before yeah. we went through this, and I had a look at like what a. Cause I'm not too good with the water side of it, so I said, Riley. Mm, obviously, Ramadan. We need, we need, <laughs> we need fluids that can hydrate our players. Yeah. Quickly, effectively, mm-hmm. where they don't have to drink too much, so they don't feel. Of course. You know the effects of that. Mm-hmm. And Riley came up with. Riley, the club dietitian and look, chef. Yeah. Club dietitian and chef, big role. We've got to look after our players, but right. like our club executive said over here, director of football. Director of football. Sorry. Yep. Pasta. We're a pasta club, you know. <laughs> All about that Italian cooking. <laughs> I thought you were talking about <laughs> No, no, it works. Pasta. It works. It works. Sure. It's segue, yeah. Okay, yeah. 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 We're a pasta club. We know Italians first, yeah. Italian yeah. at heart. That's it. You no, know, that's, that's what we're we from want. Japan. We're from Japan. No, no, no. But me being the club okay, chef, you, Italian yeah, yeah, yeah. Heart. Smart. Yeah. And because, you know, noodles, you know, pasta, noodles, direct correlation, hey, you know, that's very what I'm going Smart hey. to ramen. And yeah. then for hydration, we're going to, that's when we segue to our next sponsor, Prime Hydration, which is going to come in and, um, yeah, really look after our players. Inshallah, we're speaking in the We're, yeah. we're, 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 we're talking about that. One. Partnering. Yep. Samuel, um, yeah. As the assistant coach, you're kind of you're kind of my extended arm back to the players. I am. I am. You're the you're the I'm the bridge. What is it? the bridge between the players and the the staff? Yeah. yeah. You know, of you course. and Bud predominantly. You guys yeah, are working sure. very closely, yeah, tight knit circle. Yeah. What What do you see for the culture of the club? What's your expectation? Basically, when I came in, mm. right? Obviously, the whole team got brought in. We got a whole new team. The head coach, obviously yourself, yep. very, very demanding, mm-hmm. dominant. Damn. Like that's the that's the figure that you are. So I thought I would come in here, maybe sense the vibe, see what the team see what the team needs, see what they were after. And to mm. me, honestly, they were they were empty. Yeah, they were a shell. Yeah, we've come into this club. Very we've true. absolutely turned their mindset and attitude around. Very that was true. the biggest it's thing so for me. The biggest thing is the mindset. Made them we've, believe. We've we've made them now want to believe we've got the best strength and conditioning we've got the best diet we've got the best nutrition the best chef and the director of football completely he's 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 reinvigorated the he, belief the belief in the club now, now we've got fans coming to all our games when last season we what we finished second last yeah we only had here. an average attendance of 84,000 this exactly. year exactly now we're up in that to the the triple di- the triple, triple digits triple digits yeah uh, state of the art stadium yep. so realistically i'm in here my role is mm. I study the games. Yep. I study the opposition. I sensed last game. This is the reasoning. That's right. I, I decided that we should go with the back five. We did. I decided we should go with the back five. One, where are we going? Saudi. What Saudi. are they doing? Ramadan. Mm-hmm. I decided Facts. these guys, they don't have the enough movement, mm-hmm. the mobility. They're not able to get around the pitch True. enough. So if we sit in a block and counter, they're going to be too tired. Devastating. True. So what did we do? And what did you, what did, what you did come I tell, tell you? Me? I told Bud, Bud, 
I need us to be strong enough and ready and fit and explosive. Mm -hmm. And then I went to MJ mm -hmm. and I said to MJ, we need to invest in these altitude masks. Yep. We need to lower the altitude. Yep. We need to make the, st the training facilities, all the lights on. I want heat. Facts. Heat. I want them train heat. That's what we did. It's not going to be any less in Saudi. Exactly. It's not going to be any less. So what did MJ do? He straight away went to our chef and said, <laughs> and what did he say? Did, Straight away when he came to me, he said, <laughs> we need to build the strength. So a lot of protein, a yeah, lot of right. meats all into this pasta. Because exactly. obviously pasta first. And we got to eat. That's it. Got we got to eat. We got to eat. Got to, you know, put hey, it on, put it on the side. You said what? You said meat? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Straight meat. Meat's what's helping everyone. Straight yeah. helping all the boys. And Straight. so basically I took, I, took my, I took my report of what the game needed to be and I took it to the head coach and I said, here. You make your decisions. Oh, yes. You set up the team how we need to play and how yeah. we need to perform. Oh, and man. then you just put the players into their See. positions because obviously you're with them the most. Mm. You know which players are performing, who's training, yeah. who's doing what. So I said, you sort this out. He set up the team and yeah. tell them. Tell Basically, them what happened. as a manager, my approach to management is no nonsense. Hard yakka. No nonsense. And also, I like to ensure that I have a good relationship with the players, but I don't want to get too close. I'm not their friend. It's exactly. True. I'm not their mate. I'm not... I'm not their buddy. When it comes to I'm making their hard fucking, decisions. I'm their boss at the end of the day. So if I if I overstep that line, then they're, they're going to feel, you know, feel like they can have a laugh with me. They can't. They can't have a fucking laugh with me. They're here Fuck to work. Her. Exactly. That's all I fucking care about yeah. at the end of the day is Tokyo Youth Club achieve success on and off the pitch. We inspire the youth of Tokyo. Exactly. Pardon the pun. And we fucking win big trophies. And at the moment, we pick up our first three points of the season. That wasn't due to tactics. That was sheer mental. 100%. Strength and warriors. conditioning coach installed a fucking serious mentality. No nonsense. No nonsense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The assistant coach made sure that each player knew their job before the game. Done. The director of football paid their wages when? Before, before the game. Yep. Before the fucking game to know that we respect them we and we them. know that they're going to achieve what they need to achieve in Saudi. Correct. And it's so true. that meant that we could go to Saudi, no qualms, do dust our them, job, dust, dust three out off, and we get on the. Yeah. We didn't even go out after the game in Saudi. No. We could have. We yeah. had that penthouse suite booked, yeah. but we said no. We go back to Tokyo. We do our. You we do. We, we do the work there. H two O packs. Chef threw them, pegged yep. them at every player. Yep. Yeah, Bang. everyone had one. And yep. and tell them there's a reason we booked our our, our our trip to Japan because we we've got a parade planned. Mm -hmm. We've got a parade, and on that parade we are not taking no trophies. Exactly. We're Made showing the people CDL. of Tokyo. We're showing the people of Tokyo the trophies that this club has won. We we're not gonna we're not gonna sit here and say and claim and claim. Does these. a postman celebrate when they exactly. deliver the mail? We're not gonna Fuck we're not gonna no. sit here. Why? Well, because it's their job. It's, his, so. it's his fucking job because we're not going to sit here at the end of the season and take all the credit for the trophies. No, that's for, that's that's the, for the city fans. of Tokyo. It's for the fans. It's for Tokyo. You guys take it for the players to know that they've worked hard, to know that they've performed. And for us, all that we need to know is every time we turn on the TV, every time a Tokyo Youth t Club fan turns on the TV to watch our game, yeah. they can see in the performance yeah. that every single one of us yeah. have, a, have a role in this, in this By picture. the end of the season, we have one, one child who's inspired to play football. Ask me if I've done my job. Have you done your job? No. We need to win trophies. Facts. I don't care about the children Fuck until we win the trophies. That's it. You know, I made a personal goal for myself. Yeah. That when I set foot in Tokyo this year, inshallah. Homecoming. That I see at least one child wearing our home jersey. Yep. Yeah. And if it means I give it to them, pause. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> then, no, diddy. then. No diddy. Then. That's they it. wear the jersey. That's Listen, it. guys, we need all your support if we're going to get this league one. We've got a we've got a trailer that's coming out on Netflix that'll be I think in the works in the next two weeks. Yeah, to show the the behind the scenes. If you guys want to see Tokyo how Youth Tokyo Club, Youth Clubs run, how we operate, proper club, yeah, um, a real club. Go to One Future Football. Like, share, subscribe. This has been Let Him Shoot. Thank you for watching. Don't even subscribe. Let Him Shoot. Yeah, go yeah. straight Tokyo. Yeah, Who we got next? One?